What's going on there, crew? Everybody see me? Everybody hear me? Let me know. I'm going to get TikTok going here as well. What's up, Sharardi? What's up, Shelly? What's up, Cheryl? What's up, Keisha? Debbie? Eric? Cap Shark? What's going on? What's up, Joe? I'm getting... Here we go. TikTok going. What's up, Chuck? Matt Denny in the house. What's up, Lisa K? What's up, Brenda? What's up, Michelle? Kristen, how are you? Angie, Patrice, TikTok, what's going on? How are you guys tonight? Let's get Instagram in the house tonight. I am wonderful, wonderful. Hopefully everybody had a good Monday. And we are going to get going. What's up, Jason? What's up, Sheila? What's up, Yolanda? What's up, Barb? How are you? Kelsey on TikTok. Alabama, what's going on on TikTok? EU. Iyamana. What's up, Edit? TikTok, what's going on? How are you guys? Great to see you guys. All right, so we got a good training. Instagram, I got you. I got you. How you doing? What's up, Mike Pons? How are you? All right, here's the deal tonight. Here's the deal tonight. What we got going on? I am going to be running through. I'm going to talk about pricing a little bit as well, okay? Do a almost... I don't really want to say it's going to be like one of my trade show classes because we're going to make, obviously, some more things. But I want to try and talk about pricing a little bit. I know a lot of people have issues when it comes to pricing and figuring out pricing. I want to talk about a lot of, about what we talk about a lot with the perceived value on stuff, how much you can charge for things. We're going to do a few things in the TRW Design Wizard and Corel Draw. And then, of course, we are going to cut a few things. We're going to make probably two, three shirts tonight of different styles to show you guys some different things you can do pretty easy. And then some of the stuff, one, at least one of the shirts will be something that you kind of do need the Wizard and Corel or at least Corel Draw to do. And then the other stuff, when it comes to some of the fonts that I'll be working with, you can kind of get away with just doing... It in even design space and silhouette studio and so on. All right. So as you guys know the deal, okay, as you know the deal, all of you that are here on Instagram, all of you that are here on TikTok, okay, I'm going to hang with you guys. TikTok, you guys are going to be here most of the time. At the end of tonight's training, I'm going to do my Q&A at the end, mainly on the TikTok side of it. The giveaway However, as you know, is on the YouTube side of it. So if you are brand new, okay, on YouTube, I have three different cameras going and you'll be able to see my screen a lot better and whatnot. All right. So I will do some giveaways for some mini packs and stuff on TikTok as well. And then um, Instagram, you guys are going to be with me for about 15 minutes or so here. But then Instagram, you guys are going to have to make sure to head over to the YouTube channel. So in order to have a chance to win the cameo, literally all you need to do is com be commenting at the end of the training, be commenting live on the YouTube one. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to start doing some more TikTok lives and some of them are going to be strictly TikTok lives as well. And we'll start doing some different giveaways on the TikTok lives as well. All right, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So your view looks good right now. It's when I flip around and start showing the screen and everything where it may be a little bit more difficult to see all of you on TikTok. And if you are on TikTok, make sure to tap that screen up. Let's go. Tap that screen as quick as you can. Fill up that bar right there. Get that little celebration. Let's get it. And all of you on YouTube, make sure to click that thumbs up. And the thumbs up gets us more mini pack giveaways, right? So click that like button if you're on YouTube. Every 100 likes on YouTube is an extra mini pack giveaway. Once we hit 500 live on YouTube, guess what? Cameo giveaway, right? All right, so a few things I want to show you first. Let me bring these over. So one thing I did, okay, one thing that I did 
instead of like we've done before where I do once we hit a thousand live, right? Once we hit a thousand live, then a lot of times, probably the past, what, three weeks or so, I've done a special coupon code for you guys. However, okay, however, tonight that coupon code is already active and it's better than it's been, all right? What I mean by that, and if you're on YouTube, you can see it. Any of you on TikTok, can you type in the code for me if you're on TikTok and YouTube? So the coupon code is active right now. There's actually two coupon codes, okay? Two coupon codes that will go through tonight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They will go through tomorrow, through tomorrow. And the coupon code for all you mothers out there, appreciate you. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. And it is thanks mom twelve, okay? Thanks mom one two. Thanks mom twelve will take twelve percent off all, all heat transfer vinyl, adhesive vinyl on our website, all rhinestones on our website, all supplies on our website. Even and I saw people asking already. Even the bling book pages, okay? Rhinestone bling sheets, HTV anything, bling anything, 12% off, all right? Normally, we, when we get to 1,000, we do a 10% off. We bumped it up a little bit. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. All right, so I want to show you a few things and show you how easily you can do a lot of this stuff. So first, I want to get your opinion on some different things. How many of you here think that you could easily make easily make a design like this completely custom two colors of glitter heat transfer vinyl how many of you could easily do it give me a yes if you could easily do it um may take a while or no <laughs> and i i see a couple nopes and i keep, see a couple hell no's and then I see a, a lot of yeses, and a lot of those yeses that I see are Wizard Corel users, right? But I'm seeing a ton of no's, okay? So I'm going to do something kind of similar to this tonight to show you. Give you another example. How about this one, right? Oh, there's a couple examples of this one. But how about this one? How about this guy right here? We got the football design, LRHS for Lakewood Ranch High School. Obviously, you can do it for any school. LRHS football, custom number 23, but the pattern is the actual football. I'm seeing a lot of no, no, heck no's, but I'm seeing a lot of yeses of those of you who have the font, right? So, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I, watch, I'm going to give you a couple examples. Check this out. This football font right here, I made this design with that same font, okay? Want another example? Custom name and number on the back of the shirt. Same font pack for baseball. Custom name and number on the back of a shirt. Those of you who do the back of shirts for your teams and your schools, how much sweeter is that custom number than just a basic number, right? Having a football, volleyball, soccer ball, tennis, whatever, right? Now, another one, I'll give you an example. There's a basketball one with the basketball players inside it. So all of these that I'm showing you right now, honestly, are using the exact same font, which is the cool part about it. And I'm going to show you how to do that here tonight. And I have one more, this one. This one's probably one of my favorite ones. Check out this design. Got the basketball player going through with the big M for Mustangs. Pretty sweet, isn't it? So I see a lot of you asking as well, what these are right here, these are what we call our bling book pages, okay? So we have black, we have gray, and then we also have white ones now that are sublimatable. 
So all of you guys who sublimate, you can get the white ones, sublimate on them. And what's nice about them is you can have all of these different designs. So instead of, in this one book alone right here, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I have 20 pages, which means I have 40 designs. 40 designs. I mean, that would be like carrying around 40 shirts to show customers, right? But now if you're set up, which I did a lot of, if you're set up at an event, if you have a storefront, they can just come in, flip through it, they can see the glitter, they can see the rhinestones, they can touch it, they can feel it, and that's what's going to sell it, right? We all know that, all right? So, got that there. So what we're going to do first is I always like to obviously, let me get the questions for TikTok up over here as well. As you guys know, I always like to try to make stuff in the live, custom, straight for you guys as far as doing something. So what I'm going to do, and, and first let me show you TikTok. I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see my screen. Instagram, you're not going to be able to see my screen. I gotta, I'm going to log off with you guys right now, Instagram. So Instagram, make sure to head over to either TikTok or YouTube to get the full training tonight. All right, TikTok, we'll see you guys soon. I'm sorry, Instagram, I mean, Instagram. TikTok, I'm hanging with you guys. All right, flip around here, TikTok, let's see what we got going on. So what we have, yes, I'm going to turn on the heat press. I want to wait a little bit because it gets really hot in here. But remind me, as soon as I start to get ready to cut and get into Corel Draw, remind me to turn on the heat press, okay? Um, show the gold design behind the M Mustangs design. I got you, Jeff. Let me see. The gold design. Oh, that's this one right here. Let me flip around. This was actually done with the gold. This is actually easy weed adhesive and gold foil. I'll show you guys as well, TikTok. Easy weed adhesive and gold foil. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? All right. So, um, how do you become a member? Um, Andrea, I'll let you know at the end as far as the member stuff, and I'll go over all that at the end of the training. All right, so check this out. Let me flip my screen back around for you guys. First thing I want to do is I want to show you the different deals, okay? So like I said, basically all the materials and supplies are 12% off through tomorrow, all right, for the Mother's Day special. Now, we probably will sell out of some of the stuff with a discount like this because this is a bigger discount than we normally do, all right? So if it does, if something does sell out, it's first come, first serve. So just remember that. But check this out. When I'm on the main page of the website, these are the three packs that I'm going to be kind of featuring tonight. And you'll be able to see this pack earlier today was $275. Okay. Now, I marked it down $125 plus you're going to get 65% off of that price. Okay? So, yes, it includes the bling sheets as well, Nicole. So, let me just show you what that means. Okay? On a normal day, without any codes and without the 65% off, that full pack would be $275. Now, that's still really inexpensive for the amount of stuff you're getting in. But check this out. When I add this to my cart now and I go to checkout and I do the TRW release 65, that pack is $52.50. Let me show you what comes in this pack and we're going to make our first shirt out of this pack. Okay. I'm telling you, you will make your money back on this pack after you make two shirts and then you have all of the designs forever, right? Oh yeah, 
All Star members, did you see your present that I sent you today? Right before the live here? If you are an All Star member, you get this free beautiful rhinestone design. All Star members, go to the community tab. It's free for you. Have fun. Sell some shirts, make some money. Let's go. All right. So. I'm using Live Templates Volume 3. So I'm going to come over here to Open Template, and I'm going to find my Live Templates Volume 3, and let me show you what's in it. This is the pack right here. Now, remember, with this pack right here, you do want to have Corel Draw, and you can get away with Illustrator as well, but if you don't have Corel Draw, this pack is more difficult to work with. And you'll see why, because I'm going to be using the wizard a lot. Okay? But you'll see all of these different, and I'll just scroll down so you can see all of these different layouts that you can see that come in this one pack. Every one of these. I'm still scrolling. I'm only halfway through right now. So, I'm going to make one of these and I'm going to accent it with glitter and rhinestones. So, one of them that I always like to use and one of my favorite ones in this pack, I like simple kind of basic looks. I love this look right here. Okay? So, here's what I need from you guys. I need you to tell me, I need someone to give me a custom I need you to give me a high school, like Braden River Pirates. Give me the sport and the colors. Everybody with me? Braden River Pirates, baseball, black and green. Holy cow. Tammy Wagner. Tammy Wagner, you just killed it. Very first person to basically type, and you hit everything I asked for. That's, that's a winner right there. I, I got to go there. Tammy Wagner. I got Mays, Eagles, football, red, black, and white. Tammy, we're going to make a shirt for you right now. You guys ready for this? All right, so before I forget, and so I can keep the questions coming in, let me, I got, I'm going to take a picture of your name here, Tammy, so I remember that you were the winner. Got it. And we got M-A-I-Z-E, -E, Eagles, football, red, black, and white. Okay, got it. Let's do it. Look at all of you. I got a ton of you putting in. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys commenting. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. So watch how easy. First off, before I even do this, how many of you here have never seen the Wizard and Corel Draw work? How many of you have never seen this? Let me know. A good amount of you, I'm thinking, right? Me, 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 me. Me, never, me, me. Oh, that's freaking amazing. On TikTok, Just Big, me, M. Drake, me. A ton of you on TikTok as well. Okay, you guys are going to love this. Check this out. So, let's just say you have this pack, okay? There was 150 different layouts in this pack. If I want to edit this design... Here's what I do. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see TikTok because I'm going to be on the far right of the screen to start. Now, remember, TikTok, you'll get a better view on YouTube as well. But check it out. I'm going to come over here and hit Find Text. Okay? See what it did for me? It pulled up all of the text on my screen. All right? Um, yes, 100%, Colleen. You can buy it now and then download it after you get the Wizard Corel. 100% you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Braden River, 
and you guys can see how the layouts are and how it's got the envelopes and the, and the text is all formed and everything else, right? Watch this. For the top, I want maize, M-A-I-Z-E, M-A-I-Z-E, -E. enter, and then I want E-A-G-L-E-S, eagles, enter, and then I want football. I'm done with the text, just like that. All I had to do was type. How easy was that, right? Now, if I wanted to, I could also still come into this area here, and I could say, I want that white outline to be a little bit bigger. I want it to be a little bit less. I can choose that right here, okay? If I want it a little bit less, I could hit the down arrow. If I wanted it a little bit more, I can hit the up arrow. If I honestly, even if I wanted to spread it out a little bit more, I could pull it out a little bit more like that. All of that is completely adjustable once I'm in here. So personally, I would probably get it to about, I would say right there. I kind of like the G not to have that line. Let's see what it looks like with that line. Uh, that actually looks better, I think. Yeah, I think I am. I think I like that. So, here's the difficult part about it. Number one, we still have a soccer ball, right? We got to fix that. And then we also, check this out. Any of you that use Illustrator or Corel, okay? Watch this. To make it be able to do what it's doing, it's actually two different text. Okay, it's two different text with contours. So watch this. First thing I want to do is I want to get my sizing right. I'm going to make this a little bit larger, about 10.2 inches. Okay, now that I have 10.2 inches, I have my outline pretty good to where I want it. I'm going to go, yeah, right there, about 0.52. Now, is this a cut ready file? I'm asking you guys now. Is this a send it to my vinyl cutter cut ready file right now? I'll, I'll show you it in wireframe. Is this ready to go? I see a no, no. Look at all the all-star members are like no, no, no. Correct. It's not, right? Because it has those offsets or contours that the, your vinyl cutter, it's going to be a mess, right? Check this out. <clears throat> With the wizard... To make it cut ready right now, I'm going to highlight the entire design. I'm going to come down to the bottom right corner here, and I'm going to hit Merge Three Color Live Text. Okay, and I see a few of you asking why. Why is it not cut ready? The reason why is because it's two different text, and it would just be a mess cutting on top of each other all over the place, right? because it's not recognizing all these different colors yet. So, to get it cut ready, highlight the entire design, click on Merge Three Color Live Text. I, yeah, I'm gonna fix the ball. One click and watch what happened. This is now a perfectly cut ready file. And I'll show you, because let's just act like we're putting a yellow shirt back behind it. See that? Now we can see that yellow through it. So, what's really cool about this, it's going to give a three-color look, but I'm only going to use two colors of heat transfer vinyl. Now, to change the ball, I see a lot of you guys asking, no problem, watch. Click on the soccer ball. I'm going to go to change artwork, okay? I'm going to go to my live templates volume three. So all of these clip art are in this actual pack. All right. And I want to look at them. So let's go here and I'm going to click on the football and it just swapped it out. It's that easy to do that. Now I'm going to make this football a little bit larger, move it up a tiny bit. And this is where it's going to get cool. Okay, so this football right here, we could be done with it right now. So let's just say I wanted to make this for a, a for me. 
I'm going to make it for a guy's shirt, okay? And I'm going to show you how we make a men's version and a women's version, okay? First thing we're going to do is make a men's version. So I'm going to take my football here, and I'm, I moved it to the front, and I'm going to come down to my magic boundary, bottom right corner. And check this out. I'm going to create a contour, and I'm going to remove all shapes behind. So if I do that and click on it, see how it kind of cut out that area a little bit? Watch, I'll make it easier for you to see. I'm going to make the football bigger. I don't want that overlapping. I want that little bit of a contour there. So watch, magic boundary, and it just trimmed out a 0 .08 contour within that area. And there we go. There's my men's design ready to go. We want to change it to red, no problem. I'm going to come over here, select the same color, and I'm going to turn this to a red, and then the black, select same color. I'm going to turn that to a black, and now let's throw it onto the men's shirt. Come over to the mock-ups. I'm going to go to men's, and I want to do a just a men's regular t-shirt. So t-shirt front, I'm at 10.2. I might go to about 10.5 inches for the men's shirt. All right. Click on that men's shirt and there it is ready to go. Pretty easy, right? And then if I wanted to change the color of this shirt, I could make it a yellow shirt or whatever I want within the wizard. If I wanted to make the design a little bit bigger, maybe I want it to be 11 and a half inches. So you can kind of size it to the way you want it to be on that shirt. Now, Back to page one, I'm going to control Z and go back. Now we're going to make our women's version. So this is where it's pretty sweet. I want to add, how long do you think it would take you guys? Tell me. We're going to play another little game here. How long would it take you to take this football right here, knock out all of these areas around the side, and then add rhinestones around the whole football to fit in perfectly, sized perfect for SS10 stones. How long would it take you? It would take you a while, right? Uh, uh, I see you, Dale. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, guys, pay attention to this. Isn't it pretty funny? Because <clears throat> you can obviously see all the green names are, are all-star members, and... A lot of the green names, not all of them, I know, a lot of the green names do have the Wizard and Corel. So those are all the ones that you're saying it'll take two seconds, three seconds, one second, and so on. Check this out. I'm just going to make them um, blue zircone stones for now so you can see it. <clears throat> Watch how cool this is. Click on my football, go to my magic tab, and I'm going to do a stone outline. Okay? So when I click on stone outline, I'm done. One click, one click, it knocked out all of the area perfectly and added all of the stones perfectly. Right? And now all I need to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change these to the colors that I want. And this is the shirt we're going to make. Okay, this is the shirt we're going to make. So first off, let me see. I'm at 10.2 inches. I like that size. Okay, so I'm going to use, and I think I have red glitter and black glitter for this design. So we're going to do a red glitter and black glitter. So I'm selecting the kind of burgundy right now. I'm going to change the burgundy. This is another cool thing if you've never seen the wizard. Caesar Glitter. I clicked on Glitter, and I'm going to choose Red Glitter. And now it looks just like Red Glitter. Let's click on the black, select same color. Now I've selected all the black part of the design. I like to weld it together, and then I'm going to change that to my black. My stones, I'm going to change those to Crystal Stones. And there's my design ready to go. You want to see what it looks like on a shirt? No problem. Check it out. Highlight my design. Go to mock-ups. Let's go to women's. 
I'm going to go to a women's, we'll do a women's burnout shirt front. I'm going to simulate the stones. Okay. Yes, you get the full version of the design wizard with the trial. Yes. Click on my shirt and check that out. And look at all the stones. They're all simulated to look exactly like rhinestones as well. And this is the shirt we're going to make right now. Right? Let's do it. Okay. So now the next thing. Now we got to take this design and we need to, we need to get it to where it is mirrored. Okay. Because it's a heat transfer vinyl. So we want to mirror it, but we don't want to mirror the rhinestone part of the design. So highlight my design. I'm going to come over to my templates and I'm going to right click on vinyl overcut. Okay. Now, Oh, I moved that over a little bit. Let me fix that real quick. By right clicking on vinyl overcut, this is what it did. It automatically mirrored my heat transfer vinyl, but it's smart enough to know not to mirror my magic flock template material. I can turn on the heat press. Thank you. Heat press is on. Got it. Um, to join the giveaway, you just need to be here, Flash. You're good. All right. So now what we need to do is we just need to cut the design, right? Cut it, weed it, press it. So we got the eagles. The inside part is going to, and the football is going to be my black. This is going to be the red, and then that's going to be my stones. So let's go ahead and highlight. And obviously where it's really cool is... When you're doing this for a team and you're making five of these shirts, seven of these shirts, whatever, 10 of these shirts, we're going to cut multiples at the same time, right? So that's going to be super easy to be able to do that. So let's highlight this. I'm going to go to launch and cut plot CM4. Now, I can see my designs right there. I'm going to use a force of about 18 on this, speed of 30, quality of 1. Now, we need to go over, I need to get some glitter, and we need to set up our vinyl cutter over here. So, let me bring you guys over here. Move you over this way a little bit. And let's get our cutter set up. So, let me find some red glitter real quick. I'm pretty positive I have some. Might be scraps, but yeah. Oh, that's actually a pretty big piece. So, I got a pretty big, big piece of red glitter here. Now, I know that I was going about, what, 10.2 inches wide. Let's see what I was with the weed box. I wasn't paying attention with my weed box. With my weed box, I was 10.6 10.6 inches wide, all right? 10.6 inches wide with the weed box. So I'm just going to make sure this is around 12 inches wide. So I should be fine loading it in this way for this cut since I'm at about 12 inches. So I just fed it through, get this lined up pretty good. I'm going to hit one for front edge. Now, the cutter that I'm using, obviously, is, this is my Graftec CE 6040, which is the 15-inch version of the Graftec cutter. Um, will the cut work with the Cricut? Yes, yeah, yeah, 100%. Anything, the hard part with the design I just did with the Cricut is the designing part of it. The cutting part of it is no issue at all. The Cricut, whether you're using the, the Maker or the Explore Air, the Maker, any of them, It'll cut it fine. It's just a matter of getting the design created, right? That's the difficult part. And what's up? What's up, Young? How are you? Ash, thank you for answering all the questions on TikTok as well. I see you. I see you. All right. So I did, what did I do? Force of 19, speed of 30, quality of 1. And let's go ahead and send this. Heat press is on. Yes, thank you. 
So as this is cutting, shoot me some questions. What do you got? What do I, oh, fold it up. Um, thank you, Miss Neal. It's not, believe me, it's not really as organized and clean as it looks. It's just all hidden other places. <laughs> yes, the vinyl colors and everything, Jeff, they do come in the wizard. They do come preloaded in the wizard, like all the glitter colors and all of that stuff. Um, yes, the wizard, here's the thing, and a lot of you guys who don't know this, okay, the wizard and the, and the Corel Draw and the wizard will work on any cutter, like any cutter at all, okay? And here's the reason why. You're creating your design in the wizard and Corel. And then once that design is created, you can just export it as an SVG file and bring it to Design Space to cut on your Cricut. Export it as an SVG file to bring it into Silhouette Studio to cut it on your Cameo, to cut it on um, any of your, your um, scanning cut. So any cutter that you have, the Wizard and Corel will technically work with it. Now, the Wizard and Corel isn't going to send it directly to your Scan and Cut. You'll just use your software that you currently use for the Scan and Cut just to send the file to it. Does that make sense to everybody? Now, the reason why I always like to have a weed box is it shows me where my cut line is right there. Okay? So, got that there. Now, let me grab some black glitter for, uh-oh, for the second part of my design here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're all good with the glitter because most of these glitters, I have had these at the house for probably, if I had to guess, some of these glitters are two to three years old minimum. But as long as they're stored in an AC area, you're normally going to be fine with them. All right. So, um, Tegan, I'm making a custom Maze Eagles football shirt. So I'm back over. If you're on, if you're on um, YouTube, you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm back over to this part of my design. And now I'm going to pick the red part of the design and cut plot CM4. Um, real quick, yes, let's do that. You know what? I'm going to. I got to show you something here, real quick. Um, Tammy, Tammy, where are you at? Tammy, do you have a custom number for me? Tammy, let me know if you have a custom number for me. I need a custom number real quick. You guys, keep your eyes out for Tammy commenting for a custom number. Tammy, 62, boom, you're on it. Thank you. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to flip around here real quick. I'm going to bring you guys over here to TikTok as well so you can see what I'm doing. See all this dead space in my design right there? I'm going to just add something here. I'm going to go 62, all right, and I'm going to use some type of a collegiate font, college black, oh, that's a pretty good one right there. Let's use this college font, and I'm at 2.3 by 3.3, let's go a little bit smaller, let's go to about right there. Now remember, I do need to mirror this, okay? I do need to mirror this, so I'm just going to honestly flip it this way. And then I'm also going to add it there too. So do you guys know what I just did? What did I just do? Who can tell me what I just did? I mean, obviously you guys can look and say he just added the number 62 two times. But what did I really do? What did I really do, other than just add the numbers? 
I saved vinyl. Yes, I definitely did that. Before I, um, oh, sorry. Before I cut that, oh, there we go. Yes, I up, that's upsell at its finest, right? Customize it. That's where we're making our money, right? So before I cut this, I just want to check and make sure my cut settings are good. And it looks like that force of 19, remember I got a super old blade, so I always like to come through and check it real quick. That area looks pretty good there. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so got that set, but I'm going to be able to charge, man, I, me personally, I would charge $5 a sleeve. I would upcharge 10 bucks to have the number 62 on both sleeves. And let's be honest now, how much extra vinyl did I use? How much extra vinyl did I use to get that upsell of five to ten dollars, whatever you want to charge? None. I would have just peeled that all off and it would have been trash, right? No extra vinyl used. That's the crazy part about it. All right, what I do want to do real quick is I need to weed this and I want to see it on my screen over here. So let me move this over here real quick. Just because I want to be able to see when I'm weeding because I haven't weeded this design. All right. So when weeding this design, I can see I have underneath the football, there's some pretty sharp edges on that one piece. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. See that spot right there? That spot right there would be an issue if I had pulled from this side. Okay. Okay. So that's why I'm making sure to weed it from the middle out so it doesn't pull against that real thin area of it. Now, I have two lines there and then I'm going to start hitting my big letters. And then I also have those lines on the top as well. So the better you know your design, the better your weeding is going to be. All right, I got a question for you, and if anybody says what I think some of you may say, I'm going to call you a liar. How many of you have been in this business at least for a little while and have never, ever had to dig through the trash can for a little piece of vinyl? How many of you have never had to? dig through the trash can to find the top of that eye or the edge of the design or the inside of an A. Okay, I did today. I, I am right now. <laughs> right? We've all done it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's not, I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to avoid it, right? So you want to be as careful as you can, but you also know it is, it's going to happen. It's just part of it. You're going to be as careful as you can. Look at your, look at your design as much as you can, right? Look at your design as much as you can to try to avoid it, but especially on new designs, it's going to happen. So here's my next question. How many of you have done, we did a new design before, and when you're doing something like this football part right here, you weeded out the wrong part? How many of you have done that? Every one of us, I'm sure, right? And that part, honestly, that's worse than digging through the trash, isn't it? Because then you've already basically stuck holes in it. 
Oh, it's, it's so bad. But you can see how easy that did weed there. We're good to go. So that part of my design's good. This part just finished cutting. I'm going to hit one to bring it out. And I am going to trim along my line where I have my weed box. Make it super easy to see. I always love, I saw some of you asking, do you always put a weed box? I try to always put a weed box. Some of you say it, it weighs... It wastes a quarter inch of material on each side, okay? However, this is something that I'm sure most of you have done as well. How many of you have not put a weed box before? You go to trim off your design, right? And there was a big area, like one letter of the design that went higher and you didn't realize it and you cut right through that letter. How many of us have done that? I'm just exposing you guys all of all of our mistakes, aren't I? I can't tell you how many times I've done that. When I and honestly, the only time I ever do it is when I don't use a weed box. Whenever I have a weed box, I'm able to see that line and I know for a fact that I'm outside of my design. That's why it helps me. Especially with glitter. Because with glitter, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to see those cut lines, right? All right. So I am coming over here now. I got Magic Flock in there. And I need to cut my Magic Flock. So... Highlighting my circle with the, with the stones, I'm going to go cut plot CM4. And I'm going to use a force of 25, speed of 60, quality of 3, and send. And watch how quick this baby goes. All right, we're going to use this red probably in a little bit as well. And let's start weeding the black here. That's done already. That right there is what you call the benefit of the graph tech. So hit one to bring it out. Let's come over here. Make sure my pressure was good. Probably could have gone a little bit more, but... We did perfect. Now, here's the cool thing. When you do a design like this, as long as you just keep editing the same design, guess what? I can reuse this same template for a thousand of these football shirts if I want. So you're just going to edit the team names, and then you'll be able to keep using that same Magic Flock template. You're not going to have to recut that. All right, so now I'm just bringing this over because I want to see. Oh, let me get it here. Where do we go here? There we go. I just want to see my cut lines for this black. Um, yes, correct. This, the, the glitter I'm using is the Caesar glitter. Correct. Um, I'm not sure. Where are we at? Where are we at numbers-wise? We've already, I'm sure we've probably already hit 500 by now, right? Are we already at the Cameo giveaway and hit 500? Let me know. Mine says 30, no, we got like almost 400 likes already. Okay, so looking at my design, I know I have, I'm working on the top right now. So the maze part of the design there, I got that line going through to my L. My M there. And again, I'm going to wrap around. Now I'm coming over to the E part of the design, but again, 
I have that same kind of little triangle-ish pattern. So I'm going to work to the middle here and then pull that way. See that? How I did that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, TikTok. I was in your way. So watch. Let, I just want to test it and see what happens. If I pull it this way, okay, look what's happening right here. When I pulled it that way, what actually happened is this part right there started to pull up a little bit, like I told you it would. See that? So that's why I always try to come this way and work from the inside out on a design like this. Now, this design is also a little bit weird because remember part of my G is going to be cut out here. But watch what happens. See that now? Now that's going to weed out perfect. And see how it's rolled up a little bit? Then I just push it down. So yes, pull it from the wide side to the skinny side, exactly. <laughs> now, if it didn't come to a full point right there, I would have been fine with it. And it's not like it necessarily ruined anything, okay? Because the Caesar glitter has a sticky backing, so you can just kind of stick it back to it. So what it honestly does is it just saves you time of not having to basically go dig through the trash if you miss it, right? All right, so now I'm going to get my little inside areas here, inside of my B's, inside of my O's, inside of that F right there. Now, again, I want to be a little bit more careful on this part of the design because I know there's some super thin areas in this part. Okay, especially starting off with this G right here. Watch this. So, see how thin that glitter is right there? Right? So, just be careful when you're doing a new design and try to... And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking at the design on the screen so I can know where those super thin areas are. And again, just knowing your design, even if you mess up, it doesn't mean, obviously, that the whole design's messed up, right? It just means that, guess what? You got to spend a little bit more time because you got to fix it. Like this. Perfect example. I just ripped up that S real quick. See that little spot right there? But can I just throw this wherever I want? Can I just throw this down anywhere here? Does it really make that much of a difference? On some designs, it probably doesn't. On this design, it makes a huge difference. On this one, it makes a huge difference, and I'm going to tell you why. If I'm not perfectly in the exact spot where this needs to go, when I line up the red part, it's going to be misaligned. If this were just a one-color design, like some of you are saying, of course, it would be no problem at all. It would be super simple. But because I have that second layer it would be a nightmare and it's not going to look good, right? So I know for a fact this A right here, it's got that real little piece. So watch, I'm pulling up. Oh, it hit that piece good. Nice. And now I'm coming over to my E and this E should weed pretty easy. Boom. Any inside parts of the E? No. Good there, good there, good there. And we are rocking and rolling. Now, I'm going to cut my 62s out. Obviously, I don't need those. Let's get that out of there. Let's get that out of there. That's going on both of my sleeves. And now I'm going to test this. I'm going to see if I did this right. So, 
to do that, I'm just going to drop this down here. And if all was done well, everything will line up perfectly like that right there. Pretty sweet, isn't it? And it's going to look, when I put it on this shirt, exactly like a three-color design, which is my favorite part of it. Now, last thing we just need to do real quick is just brush in our rhinestones. So, of course, I'm not going to skimp on the rhinestones, and we're going to use some diamond cut crystal stones. We need some extra sparkle on it. Brush those around. The circles are cut at 0.135 inches, and all of those are in there perfect already. Now I just need to get a little piece of hot fix tape and make my transfer. Drop that down there, go over it with my hand, pull that up, and my rhinestone transfer is ready. Now, again, with this right here, I love the crystal stones. The red stones, great, that's a great question, okay? The red stones going next to the red, honestly, they don't look good, okay? They don't look good. And same thing had I used jet black. I love to match the stones with the shirt. To fill that inside area with almost the shirt color, but then they sparkle even more. And it's kind of like when they're walking around, it doesn't really stand out. Then the sun hits it, and it looks freaking amazing. All right, so we're good with that, good with that. Let's roll over here, and let's make this shirt real quick. So let's get you guys so you can all see the heat press here. And let me move this back over here so I can see with you guys. And we are good to go. Let's get it. So I have a white Bella shirt over here. Let's get this baby made. Um, drop this on top here. And I will show you the shirt done with just the glitter first and then I will show you where it has the um, where we add the stones as well because this shirt's going to look awesome even with just glitter even with just glitter but then once we accent it and then once we add the sleeves and all of that now we're getting all the upsells on this shirt so whenever I put it together I like to put the full design together off this start okay so looking at my shirt here that looks pretty straight there that looks pretty good there I'm looking at basically the armpits right looking at my left edge and my right edge that looks pretty good armpits there going across kind of the middle of the design there and I feel like that looks pretty good and I'm good with pretty good so I'm gonna pull up the red part of my design and we're pressing the black first. Checking my inside cavities real quick. Those all look good. And I'm going to press this for about two to three seconds. That looks amazing. Slowly peel this up. Remember, you didn't press it for the full time and temperature. So just be careful when you're pulling it up. Now, who can tell me why I did not press it for the full time and temperature? The shirt that I'm using is one of our Bella canvas shirts. It's the, I think the 6400. Now, I'm coming back here. Oh, that looks so damn good. So good. Um, yes, you guys got it. Exactly. Had I pressed for the full time and temperature, any of you that ever have problems lining stuff up, okay, and it not aligning correctly, it's because it's shrinking a little bit, okay? So, 
as long as that first press isn't for that full time and temperature, and you only do that two to three second tack press, it won't shrink, okay? Had I pressed that first press for eight to 10 seconds, it would have shrunk a little bit, and as soon as it shrinks a little bit, it would have been almost impossible to line up this second layer. Now let's roll this off here. And let's show you what we got so far. How sweet. Got a little piece there. Oh, it's underneath. How sweet is this already? Right? So... I didn't have to use butcher paper or, or my cover sheet because the carrier was covering the whole part of the design. Now, that is, to do this shirt right here, no custom numbers, anything, I would probably be at about $27.50 in glitter. Probably about $27.50 because we haven't customized it, we haven't added stones, we haven't done anything with it yet. Now... When I go to add stones, stones are going to normally be a $5 upcharge for me, okay? So if I were at, I see some of you saying 25 If I were at 25 as soon as I add the stones, I would be at 30 So adding the stones, they fit perfect. My glitter isn't all covered this time, so I'm going to use my cover sheet this time. And everybody's market, again, is going to be different with something like this, right? When I would go to the events, just the glitter part of the shirt with no customization would have been a minimum of $30. Some of you might be at $20, $25. The biggest thing is just make sure you're still making money, knowing your cost, right? So now when I show you this, check this out. Look at the difference now. Now we just, that's an upsell on a shirt right there. As soon as we add those stones. 100%, yes, know your market. Um, how much do we have in stones? If you're buying stones in, let's say, 100 gross at a time, you're probably, you might be 50 cents in stones. Probably more Korean stones, you're probably at about 15 cents. Diamond cut, you're probably about 40 to 50 cents. All right, now what I want to do is I want to add my custom numbers. So for my custom numbers, check this out. I'm sure I have one somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Boom, good to go. This is what I use for the masks. Foam board, I'm going to use foam board for my sleeve as well, for both sleeves. So I'm just going to drop my sleeve down here, okay? Drop my foam board inside of it. I can see the little seam on my sleeve here, so I know it's good. But the foam board is what's going to make sure to give me even pressure, right? So that looks good there. It's all lined up good. Let's go ahead. Give a little pre-press, and we're going to drop 62 right on the edge here. And press. And again, 8 to 10 seconds. This is only a one-color press. That's beautiful. And then let's knock out the other sleeve. And you can see how good our sleeve looks. Um, this foam board, I, I want to say it's, oh, can somebody help me? Um, is it 10? Oh, man. I'll have to look on the products we love. The thickness of the foam board. If somebody's near the products we love on the website, let me know. I thought they were 10. Are they 6? Again, I'm just looking at my bottom line to get it lined up good. And drop it down. Yes, they're on Amazon. The foam's 6 mil thick? Okay. 
Okay, everybody's saying six. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, let's head over here. Let's see our finished shirt. So, finished product here. We got... Our maize football, red glitter, black glitter, accented with our rhinestones. And see how these rhinestones show up here? You can see them pretty good, I think, even from this far away, right? And then we dropped the custom 62 in black glitter on that sleeve and on this sleeve here. So Normally for a glitter sleeve, I have a $5 upsell. If they want it on both sleeves, I normally cut it in half, the second one. So we would be looking at about $7.50. Let's just say that we were at, I don't know, you want to go $27.50? What would you guys be with just the glitter design? Even some of you were saying $25. Bucks. Let's just keep it low for right now. $25. Bucks. $5 for the stones, that puts us at $30. <clears throat> Both sleeves customized, that puts us at $37.50. And this is what I love about this. Is, and this is where I'm talking about the perceived value, right? So if somebody says to you, okay, for this shirt, $37.50 is too much money, you know what you say? Okay, well, if you don't do the custom sleeves and you don't do the rhinestones, now it's a $25 shirt. And then you know what they say? But I really want the sleeves and the rhinestones. And then you know what you say? Well, I really want $37.50. So most of you, I'm assuming, would be fully customized like this in the $35 to $40 range, I'm assuming, okay? Me at an actual event on this, I would have probably started with the glitter design at $30, $5 upsell here to $35, and then $5, second one, $750. So I would have probably been at about $42.50 on this shirt. Make sense to everybody? And then, obviously, you also have the option to add a custom name and stuff on the back, right? All right, Tammy, what do you think of your shirt? Pretty sweet, right? Now you get to go sell some of these because you got an awesome one as a, as a uh, sample to show everybody, right? Um, when I do them at the events, I don't make the actual shirts at the event. I've done that before, but it takes too long. Who knows, how many of you here know my rule when I, when I would do events? What's the rule I always had when I would do events and I'm making products at the event? A lot of you guys know my rule. Five minutes or less, baby. Yep. My rule, whenever I would do events, if I couldn't do it in five minutes or less, I didn't do it at the event. So mainly at the events, I would do vinyl window decals. Because I could do those in five minutes or less. Or I would customize their hat with a number or customize their shoes with a number. Anything I could do in five minutes or less, I would do it at the event. Now, I would take their order or I would bring them to the website and show them how to place the order on the website for the custom shirt. But when it came to doing it at the event, nope. Because you can only make so many shirts in the time that you're at that event. I wanted to talk to as many people as I could, get as many business cards out as I could, make as many five minute or less products that I could. And I'll tell you what, I'll show you. I got some of them here. And you guys hear me talk about it all the time. 
These babies right here, money makers, right? These are what I made at the events. How do you take an order with no website? Um, look at Cruz. Look at Equid. Look at Equid.com. That's what I started with. You can start free on it. It's a it's a great website to get going with. One of my most popular decals. Really was. I love my wiener. Everybody loved that one. By far my most popular dog decal. E yes, Equid. E C W I D. E C W I D is what I started with. And just to let you know, Equid will grow with your business. Okay? I started with Equid, okay, when I was this is before Etsy and eBay was around, and I started with Equid and eBay. All right. I was using Equid from when my business had zero dollars in sales, okay, all the way up until, man, I would say we switched, we've switched two or three times since then, but probably the first almost maybe eight years of my business. Maybe eight years, first eight years of my business was Equid. And I was doing it from when I had zero dollars in sales. Equid still worked to where my business had over, I think we were right around just under two million dollars in sales. So Equid will grow with your business. Yes. And, and you can start free with it. It's cool. Ooh, that's a great question. I see some of you. <clears throat> I see some of you saying, and this is great. I love that you guys are all saying this. I see a lot of you right now saying that you're going to stop using Etsy. All right. Before we make an, something else, I want to get into this because I think this is really important. Okay. I think this is really important. Um, how many of you here are on Etsy and Etsy charges too much in fees and they take too much money? How many of you? Let me know. How many of you are frustrated with Etsy? Jean Marie, yeah. Alicia, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, don't, what I would recommend, okay, you don't want to use Etsy or eBay as your main source of orders for your business, okay? However, what do you want to use Etsy for? What do you want to use Etsy for? And eBay. And eBay. Even though they charge all those fees, what is the benefit of Etsy? That's it. 100%, Kendall. Yes. Think of Etsy's fees as advertising fees. Etsy will get your product in front of people. It will get you exposure. Exactly. So, don't get... Yes, Etsy charges a lot of different fees and they take a percentage of your sales. However, I want you to think of it this way. What if... How many of those sales would you have got without Etsy? Be honest, because here's the thing. If you go build an Equid site and your Equid site is wemakedecals.com, guess what? 
you are going to have zero visitors on that website and you will not make one sale because you will have no audience. You'll have no exposure. Nobody will ever see what you make. Right? So, does that mean you're going to make a lot of sales on Etsy? No, it doesn't mean you're going to make a lot of sales. So, what I would do, what I would do is I would create, I would put some of my products, some of my more popular products on Etsy, right? Get it in front of people, okay? Get it in front of people so they can see it and think of it as advertising fees. Think of it as an advertising cost. If you sell stuff, great. Then when you sell stuff, just like I did on eBay back in the day, as soon as I would sell something to them, then I would give them a coupon code to my Equid website and said, hey, order here next time and you'll get a discount. So you're taking that Equid or you're taking that Etsy or eBay sale and you're selling it, you're, you're, but your goal is you only sell to that customer one time on Etsy, right? And then as soon as you sell that one product to them and you send them the decal, in that envelope, you put your card of your Equid web, of your actual website, give them a price that's a little bit better than the Etsy price and say on your next order, come here. And now they're going to start going there instead of Etsy and you'll start building that up. All right. Now, obviously the most, the best way that I always recommend to do it is to make a TikTok channel, to make a YouTube channel. Don't, I mean, here's the one thing you cannot do. And I'm sure a lot of you have learned this. Okay. We're getting into the marketing side of it now. Here's another thing that you, a lot of people think they can do, but I, it doesn't work out. And you guys tell me if it works out. I'm going to say 99% of you, it didn't work out. <clears throat> you create a website or you start this business, you make a shirt like we just made and you post it on your Facebook page and you're just expecting sales. And then you create a business Facebook page and all of your friends are going to join the page and nine of them do. And you have nine followers on your business Facebook page. You post on it once every four weeks, right? And you're wondering where the hell your sales are, right? You don't have to say if that's you because I know that is a lot of people, right? Because you hear me say it all the time. Hey, Create a YouTube channel, create a TikTok channel, create a uh, LinkedIn, all of these different things. But at the end of the day, if you're not consistent on it, if you're not providing any value for anybody to watch it, if you're just trying to sell stuff, if you're just trying to sell stuff, nobody's going to follow you, right? Nobody's going to. And that's what most of us do when we get started. I mean, do you think I have a half million followers on TikTok because I posted three times? Do you think I have a half million followers on TikTok because I'm just trying to sell you stuff? Do you think I have 200,000 followers on YouTube because I'm just trying to sell them stuff? Pay attention to all my videos. Like this live right here. All of this information I'm giving you right now. How much am I trying to sell you right now? I'm not, right? I talk about different deals at the end of the live. We give away the cameo. But as I'm going through everything that I've been doing, how many times have I said, go to the website and buy this. Go buy this shirt. Buy this from me. This is awesome. You should buy it. I never do, right? Because it's training. Because I'm trying to teach you. However, you guys like that and that's what has you come back to learn more because you know I'm providing you hopefully some value. If I just came on here and just talked about buying vinyl and buying this, you would never come back. You would be like, oh, here comes another sales pitch. 
And that's the same, and believe me, it's the exact same for your finished, finished products as well. It's the exact same thing I did when I was in the finished products business, okay? I used to make videos, YouTube videos. That shirt that I just made for Tammy, I would make a YouTube video showing Tammy how I made my shirt or her shirt. And you know what that did? What do you think that did? Oh, we're getting into it now. And here's the, here's the thing I love, what some of, some of you are going to say right now, okay? Some of you are going to say, well, I don't want to show people how to make the shirt. I hate to break it to you. There's freaking 10,000 videos out there showing people how to make a shirt. So if someone wants to learn how to make the shirt, I promise they'll know how to make the shirt because there's 10,000 videos out there, right? But here's what, just what Eric said. I show Tammy the shirt. Tammy's freaking pumped, right? And this happened all the time. Tammy's pumped. Tammy shows her best friend, sends her best friend the link to the video of me making Tammy's shirt. Tammy's best friend loves it. And Tammy's best friend has a daughter who's in dance. And she wants to make some dance shirts now. And then Tammy's best friend sends the link of the shirt I made for, to, for Tammy to the dance, the owner of the dance studio. And now the owner of the dance studio sees my website on the video and they say, oh, you can make decals? Can you make decals for our dance team? And then all the moms at dance get their dance shirt and they want, and then guess what? I'm making a video of me making the dance shirts. And then the process just keeps repeating itself. So, but again, was I trying to sell them anything? I wasn't trying to sell them anything. In the videos, I would just say, hey, just here, I'm making a shirt for Tammy. I'm using some glitter vinyl. I'm accenting it with rhinestones. Tammy's going to love this shirt, blah, blah, blah. If you're interested in any shirts, hey, check out my website here. <clears throat> and you know how much I had to pay in advertising? Zero dollars. Right? So, but is, this is the next thing. Is that easy to do? Is it easy to make videos? Is it easy to build a following? Not easy at all. I've, I've been building my YouTube channel for over, going on 13 years now. Right? So it's a ton of time, a ton of work. But if you put in the time, if you put in the work, it's obviously going to pay off. But don't think that you're just going to make two TikTok videos and you're going to have a thousand followers. You're going to make two TikTok videos and you're going to have four people watch it. But then when you make five, you'll have seven people watch it. And when you make 10, you'll have 14 people watch it. And then when you're like my YouTube channel and you have 4,000 videos, then you'll have 200,000 people watch it. Right? All right. You guys ready to make another, uh, ready to make another shirt? Hopefully. Did, did all of that make sense to you guys? I mean, the one thing I'm not going to try and sell you on I'm never going to try and sell you on this is easy, right? We all know it isn't easy. Every single person here, every single person here, um, the YouTube channel is The Rhinestone World. Every single one of you here, technically, I mean, let's be honest, you're in competition with each other, right? You're all trying to sell similar things. True? Now, is there plenty of business out there for everybody? Of course there is. However, who's going to stand out? Who's going to be different is who's going to get the sales. Obviously, I'm standing out right now on TikTok because I've created enough videos and, and found different ways to get a following, which is amazing. I'm, I'm freaking honored that 550, 
I don't even know how many it is now. What, what are we at on TikTok? 558,000 or something? And I've only been on TikTok a year and a half. I've been on YouTube for close to 13 years. It's crazy. So, and that's the thing. I see some of you saying, yeah, it's, it's very difficult. And it is. It is. You definitely, I, I, one thing I promise you, 558.5, that's freaking amazing. Um, one thing I promise you is the hardest workers will win. Doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. Doesn't mean it's going to happen this year. No. But if you stay consistent at it, and basically you do it right, I mean, I'll share everything I can to help you as far as doing it right, but I promise it will pay off. It will. But everybody will start a business, and a month later, they're like, I can't quit my regular job yet. I've been doing this for a freaking month and a half now. This sucks. Well, those are the ones that aren't going to survive. I promise. All right. Next design. Let's go with... Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. I'm going to flip you guys around here, TikTok. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. So let's go with... Here... And speaking of that, and real quick, let me, um, let me flip around one more time re real quick here, TikTok. Here's the other thing. And I didn't see who it was. A couple of people said, some of you may have been doing this for two years, three years, four years, ten years. And it's still not to the point of where you want it to be yet, right? Here's what me personally, <clears throat> the way it is right now, here's what I would focus on, okay? What, uh, you guys hear me say this all the time, what do you need for your business to be successful? Do you need the best vinyl cutter? Do you need the best heat press? Do you need the best software? What do you need for your business to be successful. Positive attitude, yeah, but not. Perseverance, yes, but not. Drive, yes, but not. Now you guys are starting to get patience and hard work, yes, but not. So all of those things that I just said, software, no. All of the dedication, all of those are a yes, but a no. Okay, and here's the reason why I mean that. When I say yes and no, is no matter how dedicated you are, doesn't mean that you're going to be able to sell products. No matter what software you have, no matter how consistent you are, no matter, like, none of that technically matters, okay? How unique your items are, none of that, you could have the best item in the entire world and if you don't have the attention of people, if you don't have a customer base, right, the best item in the world would not be sold. Is that true? If nobody sees it, nobody can buy it. You need the attention of people, okay? You need, that's it. That's honestly it. You don't have to pay for marketing. I never paid for marketing, okay? You have it all free right now. It's free with TikTok. It's freaking YouTube pays me. TikTok now. I have enough followers now to where I earn on TikTok. I get paid to advertise. That's insane. That's stupid. It doesn't even sound right. Like, it sounds fake. So... Customer service, 100%. Do you need customer service to retain and keep your customers? Yes. But if you don't have customers in the first place, then you, can't, you don't even have any customer service. So all of these things that you guys are saying are 100% true. 
However, if you don't have customers, you don't have anybody to provide customer service to. If you don't have customers, you don't have anybody to use your vinyl cutter for. So all of those things are all, they all go back to having the, I mean, one example, I did a video a while back on the rhinestone bling sheets on TikTok. And it got, I don't even know how many it was, 3 million, 4 million views, okay? I wasn't even selling them. I was just answering a question on how you could start a business, how you could start a business with rhinestone sheets without a vinyl cutter or a heat press. I don't even remember what it is now. It's two, three, four million views, something like that. Do you know how, never trying to sell it, right? Do you know how many of the, we sold out of the bling sheets the next day. Like literally, do you guys remember when we were completely out of all of the bling sheets for a while? Because I had them all stocked up to where the way that we were normally selling them, we would have a couple months in supplies and that video went viral and they were all gone the next day. I had the attention of people and customers. And that can that happen to you? 100% it can, right? But it can't if you aren't consistent in doing it and providing. That video was providing content to help people and then all of the comments that you saw were, where do I buy the bling sheet? Well, guess what? Now it's time to sell. I got their attention. They asked me a question and said, where do I get it? And then I kindly reply and say, oh, you just go to the rhinestoneworld.com website. The link's in the bio. And... I made an easy link for them to go right to the bling sheets when that video was going viral. So that's an example of had I never created that video, we would have never gone crazy on those bling sheets. All right, let's flip around, let's make something. Or actually, let's pick, let's pick this before. So, oh yeah, the UV, yes. None of the UV, um, Heat transfer vinyl is in stock right now because Maddie walked out of the house with the shirt on and it sold out that day on TikTok again. The Dragonstones are freaking sick, aren't they, VY? So that's a, another example. Now, that UV Magic heat transfer vinyl is freaking amazing. And <clears throat> we sold a lot of that because of the live training that I did, but probably 80% of the sales were because of the TikTok video. And that one didn't have a ton. I want to say it was like 150,000 views, which is a lot, but not millions. All right. Next one. We are going to do something out of our... We'll do something real quick on this one and show you how easy it is. So I'm going to do one out of our split image pack. So our split image pack is this one here, okay? This one has 150 different designs, and I'm gonna bring you guys down TikTok so you can see it as well. So, when I go to this pack over here in Corel and look at it, um, do you have to be a, no, you don't have to be a member to win anything, ever, nope. Members and non-members have just as much chance of winning. I never make you have to pay to have a chance to win. All right. So I'm going to come over here to open template. And we are going to go to our TRW 150 split image pack. That's this one right here. And I'm just going to make a simple quick one for somebody. So what I need from you is I need a sport. Ah, let's do that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do a decal for this one. Just to show you how easy it is to do a decal as well. I need a sport, a team name, and a custom number. So like Lakewood Ranch Mustangs, sport, and a number. 
and we'll just do it as a one color. Matt Denny, I got you. Oh, I got you, Matt Denny. I got Canton Bears Hockey, brown and gold. So we're going to do it, Matt, just as a decal. So I'm just going to do it like I would do it at an event, okay? And I'm going to do it in our white um, color spark adhesive vinyl. But I got Canton Bears Hockey. So let's flip down. Oh, we're already on hockey. Look at that. And this is a pretty sweet looking one right here. How do you like this one, Matt? <laughs> and that's black and gold. But let's go here. But we're going to make this into a one color design. Okay. And then the car window is going to be showing through. So I'm going to go to fine text and I'm going to go Canton, C-A-N-T-O-N. Is that right? Canton bears. And then Matt, do you have a position or a number? Let me know. I might have missed it already. 44. Let's do it. And then we're going number 44. Do you want a position, Matt, or no? Now, to do this as a single color, okay, and I'll change it if Matt wants a, a number here. Do it as a single color. I'm going to click here. I just turned it to all white, and now I'm going to shrink it down to, let's say, I'm going to go about 4 inches by 5.5 inches. I think will be a pretty good size for this. 4 by 5.5. I have a right wing right now, and if I don't see you put anything in that, I'll just take off the... I'll just take off the position, or if you don't want a position. Now, the biggest thing, actually, let me go back here real quick, okay? Check this out. What I do, yes, you can technically, this pack, this pack you can get away with Design Space and Silhouette Studio. And the reason why, you won't be able to edit this part like I did. Right wing's fine, perfect. You won't be able to edit that part like I just did right there really easy, but what you will be able to do, just grab any font and type it because it's just a straight line. Does that make sense? So you can still easily do this pack with the SVG file in Design Space. Um, yeah, I can show you. I can show you. Let me just show you real quick before I finish this one. I saw some... Some of you say, can you show all the different designs that are in that pack? Um, let me go here. So you can see there's band, there's hockey. There's about three or four hockey ones. Women's volleyball. There's fishing. Um, there's men, more men's hockey and women's hockey. There's ice skating. There's weightlifting. There's a goalie. There's wrestling multiples of wrestling they're shopping right holding a purse um we got wrestling there we got roller derby we got bass fishing all right i mean i'm only we got drinking wine glass we got fishing we got tennis we got football we got gymnastics we got a guitar we got women's fishing we got women's tennis more football we have softball, frisbee golf. That's going next level right there, right? We got swimming, equestrian, men's golf, women's golf, baseball. How about this one right here? Where do you think this silhouette came from? That's back in my backward hat days, pressing on the stalls 16 by 20. <laughs> so we have heat pressing, um, more horse riding. We got another women's golf, baseball, dance, men's gymnastics, uh, women's gymnastics again. Hey, <laughs> where did that beer drinking one come from? <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's me as well. We got beer drinking. We got yoga, darts, right? Guess who that is? We got cheer. How about this? Beer pong. 
with the glass, with the cups. How about this? Check this out, guys. Look at the beer pong and then look at the darts. It's the exact same silhouette, but I took the dart out of my hand and I put the ping pong ball. Then we got some more frisbee golf. We got field hockey. We got lacrosse, gymnastics, tennis, skiing, more lacrosse, snowboarding, uh, more tennis, more volleyball, weightlifting. I'm, we're only halfway done. I don't see team knitting. <laughs> Hold on. I don't, I don't think we have team knitting. Cheer, tennis, more frisbee golf, more volleyball, weightlifting. Um, there, show cow. Football, golf, gymnastics, another football, another wrestling, gymnastics, women's volleyball, men's volleyball, more football, more wrestling, karate, football, um, military, another football, gymnastics, men's gymnastics, more women's gymnastics. Now we're getting into soccer, um, more baseball, cycling, soccer. I'm looking for any more oddball ones. Um, motocross, baseball, basketball, rowing, cow tipping. No, no cow tipping yet. Damn it, that was a good one, Herm. Um, how about this one? Even youth baseball with the little guy. Field hockey. Dance. Baseball. Dance. Softball. Ice skating. Um, what is it? Trumpet? Is that a trumpet? More basketball. Track and field. Ping pong. The mic for singers. Cross country. Video games. Tell me you couldn't put somebody's video gamer tag on there. Old school Nintendo and PlayStation. Uh, another beer drinking. So, that's it. We got a couple things in that pack. All right, let's do this. Canton Bears, number 44, right wing. So, the RW, I need to show through it. Okay, so I'm going to shift click and back minus front. Shift click back minus front. Now, if I turned it, let's say, all black, it would turn all black or whatever I want it, okay? Now, with this right here, if I turn this all black, okay, I got my hockey player there. I'm just changing it all black because I want you to see it. If I made it all white, you just wouldn't be able to see it. So what did I say I was going to do? About 4 inches by 5.5 inches. Let's change it to white real quick so we can see what our mock-up looks like. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to do TRW, and we are going to do car decal, don't need to simulate stones, and throw it on the car. And that's what it'll look like on the car. Alright, now that we have that, and we're pretty good with that size, we're going to take this at 4 inches by 5.6 inches. I'm going to go and just weld that together. I always like to weld it together in case there's anything hiding back behind it, right? And then let's go to our templates, and I'm going to do my vinyl overcut. Now, with the design being six inches, there's a couple things I can do. Here's what I would normally do. I would take this, and knowing that my material is 12 inches wide, I would cut two of them. And a lot of times it's really difficult. Ooh, cornhole would be good. And Texas Hold'em. Um, a lot of time it's really difficult if you have like a little 5 inch by 5 inch area to use those scraps. So if this is a first time customer, a lot of times what I would do, let's say Matt's a first time customer, I would make Matt two decals. And I would send them two. Or I would tell him, hey, it's... $8 for the first one, $4 for the second one. So as a first-time customer, you get your second decal of the same one at half off. Why would people buy two of the same decal? What do you guys think? Do you think there's a chance someone would buy two? Probably aren't going to buy two of the same shirts, right? 
but why would they buy two of the same decals? King of Kagers. <laughs> We're getting all kinds of ideas in here. Who can tell me why? Right? Two parents. Mom and dad. Each throwing them on a car. Or grandparents, right? But normally, you throw one on mom's car, you throw one on dad's car. So that's a little bit different than shirts. So doing kind of a buy one, get one half off is a pretty sweet deal, right? All right, so let's bring you guys over here, and we got to set up our vinyl real quick. All right, so when setting up this vinyl, I am going to just throw one of my bigger rolls on here. Let's take our magic flock off. Grab this. Again, we're 12 inches wide. Drop that down. I'm going to quit the old job. And let's reset this so it goes to the front. So I hit one for front edge. It's going to read how wide my material is here. Bring it to the front edge. And now I'm ready to go. Now I have my offset set a little bit there. So I just moved it in a tiny bit. And I got a force of 14 and a speed of 30 right now. I'm assuming that's probably going to be pretty good, but I'm going to check it just to make sure it's not cutting through. Looks good. All right, fire away with some questions. What do we got? Yeah, that's true. That's true, they, egg-centric creations. They do make a lot of mistakes when applying them. I completely agree. Oh, Tabitha, come on by. Let's go. Yes, anytime you guys are in the Sarasota Bradenton area, please come by the warehouse. We have a whole storefront area in the front. I am cutting a little bit deep, and I'll show you what, what it's doing. Um, we have, oh, and I'll show you a little trick here. I can hit pause and I can either continue job or the quit job, or I can hit cut condition and I can go four to force, move my force down to, let's say 12, enter, cut condition. And now mid cut, I just change the force because it was cutting through a little too much. Mary Carlson, thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying. How would I make this a two color decal? Easy, I would just, one of two things. I personally am not a huge fan of registration marks because I would just use um, parchment paper to layer it and you'll see a ton of my videos on how to use the parchment paper um, but super easy to make it a two color you're just going to cut for example the white vinyl and then the orange vinyl if you wanted to make it white and orange yeah it's pretty awesome to be able to change your settings mid cut 100% it is because I'll show you as soon as it's done here I'll show you this edge right here where it was actually cutting through my material. And I could see it as soon as it got to that spot. <laughs> I agree, Free. Once you go parchment paper, you never go back, right? So freaking easy. All right. One, bring this out. Find my weed box there. Shut that. And now I'm going to go here and I'll show you where it was cutting through a little bit too much. It actually didn't cut all the way through, but let me know if you guys can see this at all. Can you see those cut lines on the back? Can you see them, TikTok? Can you see them, YouTube? Almost like the score marks on the back. On the first decal, you can see them all. 
On the second one, you can barely see anything. That's where I change the setting a little bit. Now let's see if they both weeded good. So, pulling from my edge here. Got my hockey player down in there. Pull him up. Well, that was easy. Let's see if the other one's going to be as easy. This is where I changed the setting. Boom. Look at that. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? All right, so let's get my little inside areas here. And then I got my right winger. Now, with my right winger, I got that little inside part of the R that I need to be careful with. I don't want to dig through the trash can for that. That is definitely a trash can digger, right? That little spot right there. Let's get my A inside of my O. My number 44, same thing. And I want to show you the difference. I pulled that one from the bottom up because the thicker part was on the bottom, right? Let's see what happens if I pull it the other way. Oh, it hit it perfect. That just means I'm that good. Um, the vinyl I'm using, this is our Color Spark white permanent adhesive. So the blue backing is awesome because the blue backing allows us, especially with a white sticker like this, a white decal, for the customer to really be able to see it. As you know, a lot of the, a lot of the permanent adhesive vinyl that has a white backing, whenever you're using white vinyl, it's really hard to see what the actual sticker is, right? All right, so I just did all of that, and I did notice one thing. Anybody notice it with me? Who notices it? It, it would annoy the hell out of me. Anyone? Damn it. And I was just talking about digging through the trash. And I crumbled it up like an idiot. Nope, top of the head's good. A customer will never know. A customer would never know. And I'll show you what I would actually do if I can't find it. All right, here we go. Oh, of course, this is the one that did work. Yes, the spot between the leg and the stick. Right there. So if I, here's what I would do. A spot like that, a customer is never going to know that's missing. All right? So, if it takes me more than, I would say, probably a minute to find it, I would just, I wouldn't send it to them like that. I would actually pull the other one off. Found my little hockey guy there. You could, yeah. Yeah. But don't send it like this. Take this one off. And by taking that one off, that's going to fix it and make, it even, make them both look the same. If you have it on the other one, they're going to look at it and see that something's wrong, right? And then what you could also always do, which won't be super easy, but let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Pressure is on, on alive. I'm looking at that. That looks kind of like that. Then it wiggles a little bit. Uh, 
and then it wraps like that a little bit. Let's see what I got here. You guys ready for this? Just grab an X-Acto knife real quick. Cut this little spot here. Instead of searching all day. I don't think I made it big enough. No. No. Bye-bye, peace. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it looks, baby. All right. App tape. Where is my app tape at? Where are you at, app tape? Here it is. App tape, drop it down in the middle, grab my squeegee, work from the inside out. And let's trim. Beautiful. Two decals ready to go. All right. Got our football shirt done for tonight. We got our two decals done for tonight. We got one more quick item to make. Let's roll. Let me flip back around here for you guys for the screen cam. Um, the blue backing on the decals, Angela is just the carrier for our Color Spark um, permanent adhesive vinyl. So it just makes it look nicer. Instead of having a white backing like a lot of the vinyls do, having that blue backing allows the customer to see it better, which makes it look a lot nicer. <clears throat> All right, last thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull a font out of this pack right here. So in this True Type Font Pack Volume 10, there are 23 different fonts in here. There's a basketball, baseball, wrestling, men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse. We got women's volleyball, women's basketball, band, music, men's volleyball, dance, gymnastics, cheer, baseball, football, soccer, softball, hockey. Um, what is that one? Another cheer, volleyball, soccer, balls, football of the um, laces, and then uh, angled football. So ev all 23 fonts come with this pack. Now again, I marked it down like $160. However, when you add it to the cart, if you use the TRW release 65 coupon code, you get all 23 fonts for $78.75. So let's, let's do the numbers on that just to see. 78.75 divided by 23, $3.42 per font. All right, I need initials. I need initials for a local high school in your area. I'm just gonna make something quick that says like LRHS soccer or whatever it is. So give me the high school initials, the sport, and the colors, two colors. Initials, the sport, and the colors. And we're gonna make a shirt. Let me open up a new tab here. And most of you are still putting just initials right now, so let me.
Ooh, that could be a good one if I have the colors. Let me see. I got one chosen if I have the colors. Uh, I don't have a ton of glitter colors here. No. No. Okay, I, ooh, but. I got an idea. We're doing that one. All right. Angela, Angela Reitner has MHS football, gold and purple. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. MHS football. Angela, we're going to make your shirt, MHS football, gold and purple. <clears throat> However, I don't have gold glitter here, so what do you guys think I'm going to use? We're going, ooh, ah, what if? Hold on, hold on, I may have another idea. There. Looking around. I do, ooh, this could be sweet. Yeah, let's do this. Here's the mixture we're doing. We're gonna do Gold Blast, reflective with purple glitter. Gold Blast Reflective with Purple Glitter. <laughs> Brian, it blocked your comment, but I see that. <laughs> uh, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> uh, that's so awesome. Sorry about it, Brian. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Nobody saw it. Here we go. All right, so <laughs> MHS football. Let's do it. So I need to use a football one, so I'm going to go MHS um, and football. So let's go. I'm going to do lowercase. And we are going to go. How does your comment get blocked? Um, YouTube automatically just blocks comments just I don't know how it knows normally if there's any curse words or anything but let's go here MHS and let's go TRW football and I'm going to use the football laces that's in that so I got this design right here all right so literally all I did was just type because I have the football font and it's this. So just to give you an example, if I were doing it for the volleyball team, I could go volleyball and then there's the volleyball one. I hit two for two colors and boom, there it is for volleyball. Pretty cool, right? So let's go back to the football and I want to go to two colors. So I hit two and there's my two color design. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Now, Let's get this size to a good size for the shirt. I'm going to go about 10 inches wide. My spacing, I'm feeling pretty good with the spacing there. Maybe, maybe bring it a little bit tighter, but I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good the way it is there. All right. Now I'm at 9.9 .9 inches wide. Okay. I'm going to change it to my colors. So I'm going to select all of the black. And I'm going to make the black, what do you think? Should we do that in like the gold reflective? That way that pops. Let's do that. We're going to do that in kind of the gold reflective. So it's going to look kind of like, let's go over to my easy weed here. It looks kind of like this gold. And then the orange is going to be our purple glitter. So I'm going to come over here to my Caesar Glitter. 
and I'm going to do our purple glitter. And then for the bottom part, let me actually go ahead and move these together so they're all lined up right. There we go. The bottom part, we're actually going to do probably the purple glitter as well, and we're going to go football. Now, I want to show you a little trick I do for this. So when I type out the word football here, and I'm going to use just, uh, again, a collegiate font. And I'm going to do, I don't, we'll do that college black again, let's say. Uh, the laces, you don't really, we're putting them on a white shirt, so we don't want them to be white like a football on this one. We're going with the school colors, so I'm just going with the lighter color for it. So, check out the word football here. You guys let me know which way you like it better. I can either do it like this, and I'll put it in a purple glitter so you can see it. To me, and this is just me, okay? To me, I see a little Ace Ventura reference there. I like it. I actually, it's so funny because it was on TV last night and I watched it last night. You guys let me know which one you like better. I know which one I like better. I'm going to take the word football here, shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to come over to my text spacing and I'm going to space that out a little bit. So, which design... Do you like better of the two? The left one or the right one? Let me know. And I think it's going to be pretty close. We'll get, we'll get people that do both of them. I'm seeing some lefts. I'm seeing a lot of... My preference is the right one. And here's the only reason why. I want the focus on the MHS. Okay? I just feel like the word football takes away so much from the MHS on this one. Now, what I could do, especially for a lot of you that are saying, watch this. I could actually come over here, do a little bit less spacing to make it a little bit bigger so it isn't quite as small and this would probably be now what do you guys like best <laughs> the right one is the right one <laughs> now i kind of everybody see i see a lot of people that said yes People who were saying left before say, now I like the football a little bit bigger, but still the MHS. Now I like the right more. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So you can always adjust that. You can always adjust that to whatever the customer is going to like best, right? So now that I have that, let's get rid of this one. I have this here. So I'm going to click on my purples and I'm going to weld those together. Okay. Now... One thing I could do if I wanted to still, however, I probably wouldn't in a design like this. If I came over to add artwork and I just typed football, if I wanted to, I could grab a football, any one of my footballs in here, maybe like this one here. Grab this football here. Let's rotate it so it's straight and shrink it down a little bit and then I'm going to center it with this and maybe I made that that same gold so do you want the football or no football let me know Me, personally, I would say no football. Because it's basically MHS football football is kind of what it's reading, right? Now, 
I could put two M's on each side, and then it could almost be like it's reading football mom. But I'm not a fan of... I'm more of uh, the simpler, the better. So I prefer it without the football. Okay, so now that we have that, I got my purple and I have my gold layer. So let's control Z back here and let's go ahead and get these things made. So size wise, again, I'm gonna go around 10 inches. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, I changed my color there real quick. I'm gonna come over here. I'm at 10.1 inches. I'm going to templates and my vinyl overcut. There's my two cuts right there. Now I got some, I'm gonna have some issues here, okay? I'm gonna have some issues here with these tiny little cuts there, right? So I'm gonna have to definitely pay attention, definitely pay attention to those. So that's gonna be my glitter. This is going to be my reflective. So let's bring you guys back over here and let's get this made quick. Head over to, uh-oh, man down, man down. What's that ground look like? Face YouTube. Is the camera still working, hopefully? Are we good? Did we survive it? Oh, I hadn't switched you over yet. <laughs> so you guys didn't see the fall. And we're still working. Yes. Everybody survived it? Nobody got hurt? Let's go. All right. So MHS football, 10 inches. We're good to go. I'm going to go with the purple glitter first. And let's go this way. Let's see what our size is here. I got 12 inches wide, so plenty of room. Oh, turned it off. Heat press is still on, I think. Yes, it is. All right, I just moved a little bit, set my origin, and let's go ahead and get this thing cut. So launch, cut plot CM4. I'm going to cut this at a force of, I think we were at 19 on the last one, right? And that looks good there. And let's go ahead and hit send. Um, what purple is this? That's a great question. There's so many different little shades of purple of the glitter. There's like three different shades. This one that I'm using here is purple. <laughs> It's just purple. So there's purple, there's eggplant, and then there's lavender. This is the purple. Done with the app tape. And then this is the blast reflective. So this is our gold blast. We actually just got the new Caesar color charts on the website as well. So they do have the 2021 version that has the updated colors now too. Yeah, it is cool. I'll show you guys as that's finishing up. So it has all the holographic, has all the different easy weeds, all the electrics, the strip flock, and then all the glitters at the end there, and then the easy patterns and so on. All right. Let's hit one. We can see our cut line because of our weed box there. Boom. And then let's drop in our blast, gold blast reflect. Now, here's the <clears throat> annoying thing, but also kind of cool thing about this cutter. 
Even though it's only a 15 inch machine, it can only cut 15 inches, you can put 20 inch material in it. You just can't cut all 20 inches of the material because that only goes to right here. So you'll have about three inches off to the right hand side here that it can't get to and cut. But it does make it nice that you can actually still load a 20 inch roll. However, you can't get all the way to the left end and you can't get all the way to the right end. All right, so good with that. Let's go ahead and send this over. The machine I'm using is the GraphTech CE6040, which is the 15 inch version of the GraphTech. All right, cut plot CM4. Now, this material doesn't require as much pressure. I'm gonna go probably, I think a 16 should be good on this one. Now, we're gonna come over here and we will start weeding this. Now, like I said, we got a couple areas in this weeding that are probably gonna be a little bit of an issue. Um, yes, the, the 6000 is the older version. Um, what we sell on the website now is the CE7000, which is the newer version. Bobby just posted the link to the color chart I just saw there as well. Thanks, Bobby. All right, kind of just weeding from the bottom up. I know that the word football is here. Just being careful with that. Now, this is where I need to look at my design. So I'm gonna bring this back over here. Because of these small little areas. All right, so paying attention to the bottom, I have two spots in each area here. Okay, so one there, two there, and then two here. So, and I'll show you as I'm doing it. <clears throat> I hit all of those good. Okay, so made it through the first part. Now, as I come up into my M here, I got that. I'm coming up to my H. I should have a straight line. And then up into the laces here. And then the very top part is where, where I know I'm going to have my issue. So I'm thinking ahead. And I kind of see how I broke that off because I want to be extra careful as I'm weeding along this area. So, oh, actually this one's pretty big, so I should be fine with this one. Now, coming into this bottom area of the laces, I have three really small spots. One, two, and three and beautiful. So see those? Again, just paying attention ahead of time. See how I weeded it from the top down because those areas were a little bit wider. So you'll see me do this a lot is kind of breaking the vinyl like that instead of trying. A lot of people always try to keep it in one big piece I honestly try not to keep it in one big piece because it's a lot easier to weed as the vinyl isn't kind of laying on top of itself. So see, I hit that perfect right there. And then I know that my laces part of it, that part of the design is going to be an easier one. How, I want to get an idea from you guys. How many of you guys here, as you're weeding, purposely kind of break it up a little bit like I've been doing. Let me know. And it's honestly personal preference. I just feel like I, I make less mistakes 
when I break it up like that. And then these are my small, where are they at? Oh, there's a super tiny one right here. I see a lot of you do. And that doesn't mean that, like I said, doesn't mean that one way is better than the other. Some people are probably fine not breaking it up at all. Some people, it may be easier for them. For me, it's easier for me when I break it up a little bit like that. Because now I'm not searching for those two pieces in the trash can. So if it's a big design that doesn't have little spots like this, obviously then I don't worry about it at all, right? But if it does have those tiny little spots, then I obviously make those adjustments. All right, let's pop this out real quick. Now, this material is a little bit different. Okay, so any of this blast reflect, this stuff you can just rip. It's actually really easy to weed. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to try in a bunch of the smaller areas to do all of that. You'll see I'm just going to kind of pull this and I don't really have to pay a whole lot of attention. Some areas I will just break it there on purpose just to kind of work my way around it like I'm doing here. And then I'll work from the inside out on that spot. Um, yes, that this vinyl cutter, it definitely is. I mean, it's not cheap. It is a lot quicker. It does cut a lot better. It's going to make your weeding a lot easier. But it's also an investment, right? Um, this one, the 15-inch, runs around $1,300. So it's a, it's a big upgrade from your Cricut or your Cameo. Big investment upgrade as well, right? But business-wise, it's going to save you a ton of time, and as you know, time is money. Good there. Let's pop this part out here, and let's start on our H here. We don't normally discount the actual cutter. However, come Black Friday and different times, we do run some pretty sweet Black Friday deals. So where you may get like store credit, you get extra designs. So mainly for the vinyl cutters, the only time we really do a whole lot with that is during like our big Black Friday sale. Yes, we have all of our other stuff as well. Black Friday is our, by far our biggest sale of the year. This, I think this shirt's going to look freaking sweet with this combination. All right, let's do it. I'm going to knock out the purple. Then I'm going to come back with the gold. I always like to place it. Before I press anything, I always like to put the design together first to make sure that everything lines up good. But these are going to be some sweet colors together. All right, let's move over to the press here. Let's grab a shirt. Let's get her done. Got my shirt here. Vinyl here, and let's get it. Using the same shirt, the Bella. It's an extra large, but these shirts run pretty small. So what would you guys say? The Bella 6400 series, an extra large, probably fits about like a large would. They normally run about a size small, I would say. And they are a little bit more of a fitted shirt, obviously. So, again, 
kind of paying attention to my design, looking at my armpits, checking the bottom, left side, right side, and I'm good with pretty good. So let's pull up my reflective here, and I'm going to go two to three seconds, checking my inside cavities one last time. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Now remember, during a tack press, always just be careful when you're pulling it off just to make sure nothing releases. Now, because I've already made, I've already committed to where it's going to be, I can bring it down some, especially if you have a clam press, just to be able to see it a lot nicer. And not, how many of you guys burn your wrists right there, right? I'm sure we've all been there. So now, I am just getting this lined up perfect. Oh, this is going to look good. These colors are going to look sweet together. Biggest thing, because I don't have a lot of area between them, is just making sure everything lines up good, right? So, that's where I take... Take an extra 30 seconds just to make sure it all looks good. And I think that looks pretty amazing right there. Let's do it. Still don't have a press. Um, technically, yes, you can use an iron. Um, just be careful with an iron because, again, when you use an iron, you're not going to get even time, temperature, and pressure throughout your design, right? So, with that happening and not getting even time, temperature, and pressure, it is going to be kind of more susceptible to, to peeling. All right, let's move you guys over here, show you how sweet this shirt looks. Check that baby out. Now, and I'll show you up close here, how good that purple looks and that gold blast. I just used, so I saw somebody ask, I used the bottom of the shirt just to rub it, just to cool it a little bit quicker for when I peeled it. Now, what I'm going to do here real quick is, let me grab this iPad and show you. We should probably at least be able to get something out of it, even with just this. So, let's go here. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so sweet. So that is obviously our reflective. So when it, and it's not even dark in here and you can see how that reflective is just popping, right? Watch when I turn off the flash. Lights on, boom. So for night games at football, that gold is just going to pop. Like we always say, reflective, the reflective heat transfer vinyl is like the men's glitter. Reflective is by far, reflective and brick are my two favorite heat transfer vinyls to make shirts for myself. And yeah, those, those lights at the football stadium hitting that are going to be sick. All right. Let me flip you guys around here. Let's show you what we made tonight. And then we got to get to it. Let's move these over. So. 
I know these won't be your favorite because they're a little more basic for right now, but these hockey decals, these came out of the split image pack, okay? 65% off plus $125 off the retail price. Ends up being $52 for like 150 different designs. So, that one. Then, let me know which you like better. We got the Maze Eagles football design, glitter and rhinestones with custom number 62 on each sleeve. Then, the shirt we just made, we got the MHS football design, purple glitter, gold blast reflective, next level. Badass, right? So, decals, MHS shirt, or Eagle shirt? Which one? I'm seeing like a tie between the Eagles and the MHS. <laughs> Too hard to pick, right? Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. <coughs> All right. Real quick, because we got to get to this giveaway. Real quick. Let me run through the stuff that we used tonight. Let me run through the stuff that we used tonight real quick, and then we're going to get at the giveaways. While I'm getting at the giveaways, everybody click that like button. Click that like button so we can get, we're at 578 likes. Let's get to at least 600 likes. We should get to at least 700 likes probably. Let's get to 700 likes so we can do seven mini pack giveaways. So, here's the deal. Let me flip the screen around here real quick. And Matt, are all the split image templates live? Yes, they are. But you can just use the SVG if you don't have the Wizard Corel as well. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. In the split image pack, there is also, each one of them has a accented rhinestone version. I think I have a sample of one in this book. Hold on. Yes. So in that split image pack, each one of them also has a version where the sides are accented in rhinestones. See that TikTok? So that's your upsell when you have the accented rhinestone outline to it. Pretty sweet, right? You know we're always thinking about the upsell. All right, so let me show you them all. Remember, Coupon code for 65% off the packs. Now, normally when we do the TRW release 65, it normally doesn't work on the full artwork packs. But what I also did, did that's different and come after tomorrow night, all three of these packs will go back to the retail price. So this one will go back to 275, 275, and 386. But tonight and tomorrow, it'll end tomorrow night, this one, Live Templates Volume 3, is the one where we did the Eagles design. Okay? And there's 150 other layouts in that one as well. Discounted $125 plus 65% off. I think it ends up being like $52 and change, right? The other one, the Split Image Pack. This is the one we did the decals out of. Okay? Okay. Again, discounted 125. Oh, Eric said yes. Thanks, Eric. Ends up being 52.50. And then the third one that's discounted tonight. This one got discounted. I think 161 dollars plus 65 percent off. Ends up being 78 dollars. That's how we did the MHS design, but it has music, band, all of that stuff. Ends up being three dollars and 42 cents per font. All right. So that's those. TRW Release 65 is the coupon code, okay? Now, the Mother's Day special is the coupon code that's up above me right here. Thanks Mom 12, all right? Thanks Mom 12. 
That will work on anything, any vinyl that you see here. All right? Even the Caesar Glitter vinyl, even the Easy Weed, even the Twinkle, even the Reflective, all of the Color Spark, all of the supplies, okay? 12% off through tomorrow. We haven't done this. Honestly, I don't... What do you guys think? When's the last time I've done more than 10% but then also did it on all vinyl? I honestly can't remember. It's, it has to be months. Now, rhinestones, same thing. 12% off all hot fix. Rhinestones, rhine studs, diamond cut, Korean, bling sheets, magic flock, HTV anything, bling anything. I see you guys saying six months plus. Yeah, probably. So, rhinestones, vinyl, supplies, 12% off. Designs, 65% off. Got it? All right. Good to go there. Good to go there. Um, oh, real quick, let's go here. A lot of you guys were asking about the membership, okay? So, first things first, how many of you here is it your first time on a live tonight? How many of you here? Heather, thank you so much, appreciate it. How many of you here, first time on a live tonight? Where are my first-timers at? Look at all my first-timers on TikTok. That's what I'm talking about. Jeanette, thank you. Patty, thank you. Sarah, thank you. Just another, thank you. MZ, thank you. Got a lot of first-timers on YouTube as well. Andrea, thank you. Mr. Rooster, get out of here, dude. <laughs> Emily, thank you. Arkansas, thank you. Tempest, Dorothy, Libby Bug. A ton of you now coming in. Appreciate all of you guys. All right, here's the deal for all you first-timers. We do this every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I give away a Silhouette Cameo for every Monday night. Tonight, it will be the 255th. That's 255. 255th Silhouette Cameo that I've given away for free. You don't have to purchase anything to have a chance to win. Okay? Now... Here's the only thing I ask of you. If you can do me a favor, it's completely free. Let me know if you do it tonight and just subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's what helps all of these lives right here. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And here's one reason why, is you know you're not gonna just get a bunch of salesy videos because I don't do that. <clears throat> You're going to get updates whenever I'm going live to teach you stuff, okay? You're going to get updates when I post a new video to help your business, all right? You aren't going to get just a bunch of random videos, I promise. But it'll send you an alert so you don't miss another Cameo giveaway like we got here tonight, right? So thank you all, Becky. Thank you. Appreciate it. Raj, thank you. Amy, thank you. All of you that are subs that just subscribed, thank you so much. Zanny, thank you. Tempest, appreciate it. So, new subscribers, appreciate you guys. Now, I see a lot of you guys asking about what is the membership. Now, the membership is completely different. The membership is a paid YouTube membership. What it is, is it gets you benefits and it gets you extra stuff for free, okay? So, if you click the join button, that's where you'll see the different memberships, all right? Kara, appreciate you uh, subscribing. <clears throat> so, the most popular one is the all-star membership. Now, I'm telling you right now, only do it if it makes sense to you. Okay, if you're in this business and you like the different stuff that we do, I guarantee you, you will get way more than $19.99 a month. Okay, normally you're going to get around $200 plus a month, right? So, 
I'm going to give you an idea of what the members got just today. So, members, they go to the community tab. Right before the live right here, I just gave every all-star member this beautiful rhinestone design for free that you can use on any cutter, any machine. All right? So if you are an all-star member and you haven't got it yet, go get your free design. They also got early access to this coupon code. Two hours before anybody else knew about the code, all-star members were able to go buy stuff with it. Just in case anything sold out, they got first dibs at it. All right? They also got all four of these designs for free today. This piece design, this sweet as can be design, summer days design, and this rhinestone font, all for free. They also got all of these designs free last week. They got a special coupon code, Amy Grace, appreciate your support. They also got a special coupon code for the new rhinestones. All-star members get a special training. All-star members are the only ones that can attend, and I do a live training once a month with all-star members only, teaching them the software, teaching them the business, whatever. It's different every month, okay? So when it comes, they got this Beachaholic design for free. They got all of these things you see in here are all free stuff for the all-star members. All of these designs, this was one of the all-star trainings. Taught you how to do it all, got all the designs for free. So, again, only do it if it makes sense, but if you're in this business, I promise it'll make sense to you. Hope, appreciate your support. All right, good to go with that, good to go with that. And the very last thing, and then we got, I got a present for every single one of you, okay? I got a present for every single one of you. And my present to every single one of you is this right here. Type no if you did not know about this. We give away a free SVG file every single day. Today, all you do, you click there, today's free design. I make six look good. But all the weekend ones are here as well. You got the Believe design. Sweet Southern mess. All I care about are my pets. It's just a phase. Brittany, appreciate your support, All-Star member. So, every day, a new design goes up, and one of the designs come down. You never have to purchase anything on our website. How many designs are we at? You here tonight? Where's, where's Julie at? There's Julie. 417 days in a row, we have given away a free design. So... You never have to purchase anything, go get a free design. And yes, it's for commercial use. Go make some money with it. That's the point. Oh, look at Mike. Mike's on it for me. We've given away $76,245 worth of silhouette cameos after tonight. $76,245. I have given away more money than I made I've given away more money in cameos than I made teaching for two years. Damn, I don't like thinking about it that way. Yeah, because when I, when I retired from teaching, they don't pay teachers in Florida. When I retired from teaching, I was making $35,000 a year as a 10th year teacher. Yeah. So hopefully all of you teachers out there, believe me, I know what it's like. Hopefully they start paying more. All right. Let's do some giveaways, baby. Let's get this. Do you guys want to get 700 likes? All right. Here we go. I am picking to start it off. I am going to pick. Let me flip you guys around TikTok so you guys can see me. To start it off, we are going to pick six. We got 655, six mini pack winners of choice. So, 
Six mini pack winners of choice. I'm going to highlight a name. The top name that I highlight and the five names underneath that are our six mini pack winners of choice. All you need to do, email us at info at rhinestoneworld.com. Let them know that you are a mini pack of choice. Winner on tonight. Uh, what's tonight? What's today's date? May 10th. And they will check with the image I send them. And you just let them know what mini pack you want. Let's do it. So, my six mini pack winners of choice for tonight are these people right here. Two, three, four, five, and six. I got Angela Shepard, winner number one. Michelle Bell, winner number two. Best channel on YouTube, winner number three. Sher Sherity, winner number four. Joe Kerner, what's up, Joe? Winner number five. And Kelsey Michael, winner number six. I got to take a picture of this so I can send it to the call center so they know who our winners were. Boom. All right. We already have our winners for our shirts and our decals, obviously, because we made them custom for them. Now... I do need, hmm, I feel like I need to give something else away. Don't you guys feel that way? I mean, usually I'm giving away the shirts, but we already picked people for that. So what else do we want to give away? Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> you guys got excited there for a second, didn't you? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's zero chance of that ever getting given away. Um, let's go with... Going into the drunk drawer. Nah, nothing real good in there. You know what I need to give away? I know what I can give away. Let's do... I'm going to hook somebody up right here. How about a four-pack of Save-A-Cup skinny acrylic tumblers? I'll show you what they look like. The skinny acrylic tumblers. This is the smoke color. Four pack. I got a question for you. Should I give one to four different people or one person a four pack? Which one? Do we want more winners or one super winner? I think, yeah, everybody's saying one to four different people. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> so here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to highlight it, the top name that I pick, and the three names underneath that are my four winners. Now, please remember, anytime it's a physical product that we have to ship to you, it will ship with your next order that requires shipping on the website. If you aren't ordering anything on the website, then you can say, I won, can I just pay the shipping cost? Okay? Just so everybody knows. But if you order something for, let's say, $5 on the website, and it has to be shipped to you, then you just put in the custom notes that you won one of the, uh, custom, or one of the blank tumblers. 
When you put in the custom notes, just let them know you want a smoke acrylic blank tumbler. Got it? All right, let's pick our four winners. In five, four, three, two, one. And our four winners are right here. Boom. One, two, three, and four. We got Tony Larios. We got Kim Finley. We got the McDaniel family. And we got Julie Jackie. So you guys each get one of the Save a Cup Smoke Acrylic Tumblers. Congratulations. All right, here we go. It is time. It is time for the 255th Silhouette Cameo 4 giveaway. Here's how I'm doing it. Just like I always do. Remember, within the 48 states, it'll ship with your next order that requires shipping on the website. If you're in Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, Europe, Australia, wherever you are, you just have to pay the shipping cost. But you still get a free $300 vinyl cutter. I'm going to highlight a name. The top name that I highlight is our only winner. And they will be the winner for the 255th Silhouette Cameo 4. Here we go. I am picking the winner in five. Four. You guys ready, YouTube? Three. Two. One. Boom. I got, oh, I can't see it. Karen W. I don't know Karen W. There's only one Karen W here. Karen W. Karen said, woo. W-O-O-T. Woo. Karen said, woo. Karen W. Where are you, Karen W? You are the winner. And I need you, Karen W. I need you to comment within the next three minutes to let me know that you know that you were the winner. Where are you at, Karen W? You guys, keep your eye out. Let me know if you see Karen W respond. Where is Karen W? Come on, Karen. I'm looking. Anybody seen Karen W yet? I see people saying congrats, Karen W. Frankie threw all the hearts up. I was hoping that was Karen W there. Karen W. Anyone, anyone? She passed out. She'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I see two people. I've seen two people, three people say that she's here. And they say they saw her. Um, anybody else? Karen, type like a ton of hearts or something. Type something all the way across the screen. Oh, she did? Okay, now I see a lot of you saying she said she's here. That's good. That's good that you guys have seen her. That means I'll see it in a minute. I'm trying to scroll around to see. Christy said she saw her. I see a lot of smiley faces, but that's Tiffany. She has the kitty cat. Uh, I can't see a time. She 
here to you saw her too. Oh, there she is. There she is. I see her. I see her. I see her. I see her. Boom. Oh, the profile's the cat. Yes, I see. Karen, I got you. Let's go. Karen W., congratulations. You are the winner for the 255th Silhouette Cameo 4. Let's go. All right. So, I will hang around. I will answer some questions for you guys now. But again, remember, every Monday night, <clears throat> every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we do this. Okay? Free training. Teach you everything I can to hopefully help your business out. Any of you that are brand new, hopefully you guys had a good time tonight. Hopefully you learned a few things. This is what it's like every Monday. We have some fun. We joke around. We make some cool stuff. And you got a chance to win a bunch of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys subscribed because you did enjoy it. Make sure to head over to TikTok as well because I'm working on some TikTok giveaways this week. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some TikTok only lives here very soon as well. Um, <clears throat> coupon code. Is anybody having issues with the coupon code? I see one or two people that said it wasn't working. Um, whoever said it's not working, let me know what it's not working on. Let's just make sure it's something that it should be working on. Thank you for telling us about Equid making a site now. That's awesome, Kristen Smith. Glad it helped. Um, yes, eventually the Hydra and all of the stones will be available in 6s and 16s. Correct. Uh, having problems with the HP 65 app tape, it isn't releasing my decals. Um... Eva, it, which, what type of vinyl? Is it like a holographic? Is it, let me know. And keep typing it because a ton of questions are going to start coming in. So if I miss it. Um, so it's picking it up, but it's not releasing it when you try to put it on something, I'm assuming. <coughs> uh, I never tried the silhouette. I've only used a Cricut. I wonder if it's better. Um, Lux Press Shop. In my opinion, 1,000% it works better. 1,000% the Cameo is better because the software is so much better. Coupon is not working on the fonts. Um, the TRW Release 65 should be working on the fonts. What fonts? Let me know. Should I buy a U.S. cutter? Is it a good one? Um... U.S. Cutter Cut is honestly like similar to a Cameo. It's a stepper motor, okay? But here's what I always say, and I didn't see who asked that question. I just saw it come in. I don't care if you buy a cutter from us. So I don't, I don't pressure people to buy a cutter from us versus anybody else. What I recommend you doing is buying the cutter that you can afford that works for your business. So... Obviously, the graph tech is an expensive cutter. Most people aren't starting with a graph tech. Um, a U.S. cutter will be very similar to a Cameo when it comes to cutting, as far as the cut settings and all of that. Um, the Thanks Mom 12 won't work on the fonts, but you don't want it to work on the fonts because you use the TRW Release 65 for the fonts, and that'll take 65% off. So, is the U.S. cutter a quality color cutter? Is it similar to the Graph Tech? Not at all similar to the Graph Tech. Like I said, it's more like a Cricut and a Cameo. Beth Holloway, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Is the twelve percent off vinyl as well? Yes, it is, Julie, or Judy, Julie, Judy. Color Spark Glow in the Dark Vinyl, best channel. I don't have any here. I had a roll here and we were out of it and I brought it in for an order. But I, I don't have any of the Glow in the Dark here. We do have more coming in. All 
Uh, Matt ordered a heat press and a cutter. How long did it take? Um, Lisa, it depends on which cutter and press you got. I know a decent amount of the presses are back ordered. Right now, just everything heat press wise is everywhere. And then I'm not sure, just let me know what cutter you got as well. Tips on vinyl remover. Vinyl remover, I like to say vinyl remover is going to work probably 70% of the time. And here's the reason why I say that is it's what it is. Like it, it works, I would say, 70% of the time. Now, if you make a mistake, that's 70% chan more chance of saving that shirt than had you not used it, is the way I look at it. <clears throat> there are like some of the more performance wear shirts, especially with different colors. It can leave like a little mark on it or it can bleed a little bit. So it's, it's definitely, vinyl remover is definitely not perfect, but it will save your butt a lot as well. So it really depends on the type of material and everything. Stacy Knight, man, uh, it's been so frustrating for me. I see you asking too, Ash. Um, I called Silhouette today about the Cameo Pro and haven't heard back yet. I'll probably hear back tomorrow. But I don't have an update from where we were last week yet. So one thing I can tell you is... I will probably never do pre-sales again because like I talked about before I did it, I hate doing stuff like that, not having control, not knowing and then leaving it up to an, another business because then it makes my business look like crap. And I hate taking people's money when I don't have full control over it. So here's a good thing about it is those of you who do wait, okay, those of you who do wait because of the frustration that, believe me, I am more frustrated than you are. I, that I can guarantee you, okay, because now it looks bad on me. But here's the thing is, those of you who do wait and are patient, I, I am going to hook you up with something extra. So, I appreciate you guys who have been very, very patient. No, I agree. And that's the thing. I don't like blaming it on other people. I mean, again, I, I go off of what the dates they tell me and the frustrating part is they'll tell me a date and then they'll say nope it's next month and then they'll tell me next month and they'll say oh it's delayed again it's next month and it's like i mean we have 60 70 people that are waiting here and you aren't even giving me an answer to be able to tell them so it sucks it sucks I do apologize, and that's honestly why I hate doing it. But the nice thing is, is those of you who did pre-order it, when we actually, I believe me, any of them then we get are already sold. So that's why I normally never do the pre-sale side of it unless I have full control of it. And it's like that everywhere, as you guys know as well. <clears throat> um, on the, no, nothing yet on the lid cribs. Everything with COVID and everything that went on and production-wise and everything, that's on hold right now. The graph techs, yes. We're hoping to get the graph techs before four to six weeks, but we're trying to extend it out longer and then you're happy if they come earlier. Mm. 
Oh, stuff is delayed. Uh, stuff is delayed absolutely everywhere. Yes, I agree. Hot Sonic 16 by 20 Auto in the Cameo 4 Rhinestone Starter Kit. Okay. okay, so the Cameo 4 kit, I know we have the Cameo 4s. So that one should go out. Um, and I don't even know, if, is it Eliza? Elisa? I always pronounce it wrong, so I'm sorry. But um, when did you order? Because the Cameos, the cam, regular Cameos we do have in stock. Um, the 16 by 20 Hotronics, that one, I, I thought it was four to six weeks, but it could be, it could be sooner. I'm, I'll have to look on that. Um, is that gold design on the site or in a pack? The gold design. Uh, which gold design? Six point oh is still cause the the wizard is still coming along. The wizard is definitely still coming along. I've started to do. I've started working on some of the videos. I probably have. Oh shoot! I'll probably have anywhere from. 20 to 50 new videos I'll have to create as far as to teach you how to use all the different things. So we still are working on some of the features, but the ones that we have finished, I've started to do some of the, Obviously, the videos are hidden right now. You won't be able to see them until we release them, but... <clears throat> what else we got? Oh yeah, shipping's gonna increase. Every everything price wise is increasing. Everywhere on anything that you get nowadays, right? The bling book pages are twelve percent off as well. Glitter HTV in a cardinal color. Ooh man. That's going to be a tough color. You're talking like a dark, dark red. What's your take on Shopify? I've never used Shopify, but it's good. I've talked to many people who do use Shopify and like it. Hey, if you were selling on, let's say, Etsy, would you make a shirt and post a picture of it? Um, me, personally, I would do mock-ups, but if you have a shirt, that looks even better. Throw a shirt, if it's a, for a, a girl, women's shirt, throw it on your wife, whatever. I've done stuff and had my daughter wear shirts, my wife wear shirts, me wear shirts, anything you can, yeah. But get it out there somewhere else other than just having it on Etsy. Get a video on TikTok, get it every YouTube, whatever. Um, so in Sis 56 had a question. So in 656. I don't see that question. Oh, if I have an older version of Volume 3, does it make sense to get this Magic Cut Edition? And what does that mean? The Volume 3, Sewing Sys 56, has always been the same. So you might have... What you might have is like True Type Font Pack Volume 3. Just check on that. Because it's this, whatever it is, it's the same. If it's Live Templates Volume 3. And just give a call to the warehouse tomorrow if you have any questions. They can check for you. Order last week, but no idea on the time frame for shipping. It didn't say on the website. All right, let me see. I'm going to take a picture here. and send it. All right, and I'm gonna check on that. I'll get it to the warehouse manager first thing in the morning. I have a Cricut, am I able to use rhinestone things? Um, Lorena, yes, and I have a bunch of videos on YouTube and TikTok showing how to use 
rhinestone designs with Magic Flock with the Cricut as well. Thank you, Angel. Appreciate it. Uh, for regular decals, let's say window banner, do you prefer clear tape or masking? I, for a regular decal, I prefer the clear. If I'm doing a big back car window with a wet application, then I prefer the, more the masking tape. Starter kits recommended. Um, we have a bunch of crafter starter kits on the website. Different versions, one that's for rhinestones, one that's for heat transfer vinyl, one that's for vinyl decals, and so on. Um, yes, the 12% off should work on the starter packs as well. So the opal adhesive starter pack. Yes, Joey. Can you use a graph tech with design space? A graph tech with design space. No, you wouldn't want to use a graph tech with design because, I mean, only thing I'm thinking the reason why you would ask that is because you have a bunch of designs stuck in design space. So no, you couldn't for that reason. I'm thinking that's the only reason why you would ask that question. But graph tech has Cutting Master 4, which is the cutting software for it which you could bring any SVG file into. It's just a matter of getting the file out of design spaces where the issue is, right? Oh, the gold design in the bling book. I got you, Jeff. Um, that was, let's see. What one is that in? Ooh, I don't know, Jeff. Huh, let's see, let's see, football, football live template mini pack. Hold on one second, Jeff. Definitely not that one. Uh, mini pack two. Definitely not that one. Ooh, Jeff, you got me on that one. Um, hold on. Maybe, I don't think that's in Live Templates Volume 3. Not in two. All right, Jeff, you're going to have to shoot me an email on that one to remind me. I didn't think it was in Live Templates Volume 3. I'm checking real quick. No. All right, Jeff, shoot me an email. Remind me. And we'll find it. UVHTV update, um, we're looking at probably, uh, I would say my, my, my hope, my hope would be the end of next week, but I can't guarantee it. Um, Coroplast sign with a graph tech. No, you wouldn't want to. It's too thick. Um, Eric, no, I, I don't know if you heard me talk about the leg crib. Hold right now, just production craziness. So, and our mold and everything with it, with everything that's so crazy with the manufacturer. Hold, on hold right now. Um, the wizard is our software, yes. UV color changing glitter. Ooh, I don't know about that, but I am working on. How about this? 
Let me know if you guys would like this. I haven't shown this before, but I'm about to show it right now. So, you've seen, you guys want a little secret? Now, you can't, you can't go crazy over it because we're in the testing process of it right now, okay? We're in the testing process. So, next week, don't say, is it here yet? Because it's not going to be here yet. But, what we think, big screen, yes, big screen. What we think is going to work, Matt Coupon Code didn't work on the starter packs. Okay, I'll look at that real quick too. Um, I'm 95% I'm sure that we will get this. And our, my production testing over the past couple months, the newest version that I just got is freaking awesome. So I just need them to replicate it to make sure that it works again, and then we'll start the big, big production on it. But this right here, what do you think this is? I'm going to update the code on the starter pack, yeah. What do you think this is? This, nope, not reflective. This is UV Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl. So, instead of now having to cut the heat transfer vinyl, and putting it on HTV anything to make a tumbler. This is Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl, so it will be white when you're inside. Walk outside, soon as the UV light hits it, it'll change colors. So I'm using a UV flashlight and watch. I think if I can get the UV flashlight, here, watch this. I'm just going to hold it in this one spot. Look at how dark pink that gets. And then, as I kind of go over it, boom. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Look at everybody's like, when is that coming in? <laughs> um, what starter kit do you re recommend to start on shirts, hats? Um, I'll take a look with you. Let me real quick, let me fix the coupon code to work for um, the starter packs. Give me one second. So I need to come here. And uh, do, do, do. All right, I think Okay, can you try it again? Try the starter packs again real quick and I will go in with you guys as well and try I'm going to put in, I don't know, I'll put in the big one, the glitter. 
add to cart. And let me take this out. So, thanks, mom12, right? Boom. Got it? It's working for me. Thanks, mom12. Everybody see? The white flash we don't have back, but we do have the, um, I think, let me check. Blast reflect. Do we have any white left? We do. The white blast reflect we do have some of. And you get 12% off that as well. It was crystal diamond cut, yes, Pat, that I used on the shirt tonight. Um, Chris, for boat registration decals, I would recommend using a different type of vinyl. Okay, it's a cast vinyl, C-A-S-T. <clears throat> cast vinyl is going to work better for the wear and tear of like the water for boats. Oh, start, okay, it doesn't work on starter kits. I'm sorry, Lorena. I thought you meant the starter kits for the vinyl kits. So... It's supplies, rhinestones, and vinyl, but the starter kits are never discounted because they're already greatly discounted. So, sorry, I, I, I made a mistake on that. I thought you were talking about the vinyl, just the vinyl starter kits, like this um, sample kits. Um, do I need a different electrical plug for the heat press? No, the heat press is a regular U.S. plug. Yes, 951 on a boat, yeah. I mean, you can use the regular Color Spark permanent adhesive vinyl, and it just won't last as long. Yeah, so good packs, if you go to crafting kits, go to crafting kits and you will see, if you're wanting to do something just basic to get started, again, if you're looking to do rhinestones, you'll want to do the rhinestone apparel kit. And that's if you need a, a cutter as well, obviously. Um, if you don't need a cutter, then I would recommend just this starter kit, business crafter kit, the rhinestone t-shirt one. And if you want to just do heat transfer vinyl, then I would do just the HTV one. So it really depends on kind of what type of shirt you want to make. Gripper wheel issue with flock. Hmm. Flock should grip pretty good. Make sure there's nothing heavy or it's a heavy roll in the back that it has to pull against would be probably my first recommendation. If we use color spark for the boat, should we do vinyl shield? You could do vinyl shield to help protect it as well. That would help. I do sublimation and HTV as well. Okay, awesome. So, it, yeah, it really just depends on if you want 
like I said, heat, I would recommend probably doing, if you already do heat transfer vinyl, then maybe just the rhinestone one. Because the HTV is just going to be some basic HTV. But if you already have that with the rhinestone one, then you'll get more fonts and stones. Awesome. Do you have any ATRW similar to the Oracle 1917? What is the 1917 used for? Hello, I use the Cricut. Yes, Fabi. Um, all of our designs, you'll get an SVG version as well. So you can use it with design space in your Cricut. Army Strong, trying to get my business going, but need new equipment, so my stuff's on hold. Gotcha. All right. Well, and again, it's just a matter of you don't have to have the best equipment out there. Just something that works can get you started. Love last week's flip-flops. Been making a bunch of them. That's awesome, Jennifer. Love to hear that. All right, Jean Marie. Our glitter vinyl is actually a cast vinyl, but our regular, we don't have the regular colors of cast vinyl yet. Um, you don't necessarily need a dedicated circuit for the heat press. It really just depends on what all you have on that breaker. So if, if you're in a room where you're running a lot of other stuff on that same breaker, because normally your room and the plugs in the room, chances are they're going to be on the same breaker. So if you have a bunch of other stuff running, like for example, me in this office with all these lights and computers and screens and cutters and heat press and everything, I do have a separate breaker for my heat press. But in my old house, I never did. Show the decal you put on black material a couple weeks ago. Um, these ones. This is the Let's Get Naughty. This is a glow-in-the-dark adhesive vinyl. And then this is the... Um, which one is this? This is Lemonade and Purple Mermaid Holographic with Vinyl Shield on top. Reflective. Bling anything. Yeah, these are pretty sweet on here. I like them on this. It's easy to be able to just flip them around and show them. Um, the... the are, Brittany, are you talking about the specials on the artwork packs? Those are good through tomorrow. So basically for 24 hours. Oh, the material. So all this is, and I'll show you. I think this one still has, one of them I still have the sticker. So. All it is, is the corrugated sheet. So I got these from Michael's. It's basically a yard sign. I got this from Michael's. You can get them a bunch of places. And um, then I just cut with my um, paper cutter into those squares.
Yep. Yard signs, corrugated sheets. Yep. And it's just the black. There's black and white. And I had some of the white ones that I cut as well. Um, I don't know if I have any of them over here. I have some of them cut over here, but I haven't put the decals on them yet. It is an inkjet printable vinyl smear proof coating that allows you to use in most inkjet. Ooh, we don't have any of that yet, Liz. I never say never, though. They're in Michael's where the poster boards are, yeah. How long does the glow in the dark hold? Um, not too long. Like, it stays bright, bright for, I would say, five minutes. And then it kind of slowly fades away. The cool thing about the glow-in-the-dark adhesive is like if it's on a car window or something, as light shine on it, that's light that kind of recharges it. And then when the light shines off of it, it's still glowing. So it really honestly depends on where you're using it or what you're using it for. So if you had it in a room and it were pitch dark, you would see it for a while but then over time, as it kind of loses that, we're calling it charge, then it will kind of get dimmer and dimmer. Uh, what size? That's a good question. I cut these down to six by eight. Six inches tall by eight inches wide is what I made those. Yes. My gripper wheels don't seem as tight. Uh, any way to tighten the gripper wheels? No, you can change out the gripper wheels. We don't sell replacements, but I know they do on Graph Tech. Um, I'm trying to think of what else could be a, your issue with that. Make sure, I guess, that your lever's going all the way up. I haven't ever run into that issue, honestly. And I can't think of anything that would make it like that. No, the foam on the heat press, I've probably pressed that thing a hundred times. It's never melted. Um, the glow in the dark I've put through the dishwasher, yeah. Yep, no problem. China, thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. Best vinyl for vehicle decals. Um, any one of our different color spark adhesive vinyls. The permanent adhesive is obviously your basic colors, but then we have the opals and the glitters and the glow and the all of them, all kinds of crazy ones. One thing we try to specialize is having a bunch of different types and kind of looks of vinyl for, for you to make things different. Which vinyl is for shirts? Heat transfer vinyl or HTV is what you'll normally see it referred to. And that's because there, it's heat applied to the t-shirt. Uh, the font with the baseball bats is the stadium font. You got it, no problem. I was looking to buy my first machine, Cameo or Cricut. 1,000% Steve Brown, in my opinion, it's the Cameo because the software is so much better. 
I've used the foam board several times, just used it a second ago, well, right, Jason? And it lasts pretty damn good. And it honestly, it doesn't even get pressed down too much either. Like, it's, it's pretty awesome. You got it, Chris, no problem. All right, I got some work to do. I got some work to do. Coupon code 12%. I'll probably hop on live, remind you guys tomorrow as well. But 12% off, okay? 12% off. And here's the thing. What you need to do is make sure when you're, when you're looking at, yes, because I see a lot of you asking about kits. When you're looking at different kits, you, what you'll notice is our kits, the, the vinyl cutter, the Cameo, is just the price of the Cameo at different places, different web, different everything, right? But what you'll notice is with ours on the website, you'll get different materials and like a, almost like a free little starter kit to get you going. It's not a ton of material, but it's something to be able to play around with and test and get going with. So... That's the biggest thing, because I see some of you asking where should, like, I, I feel like I think we have pretty much the best deals on the Silhouette Cameos on our website, but if you find a better deal somewhere else, hey, get it wherever you think's the best deal, okay? You can still come to the lives, I'll still teach you how to use it. That stuff doesn't matter to me. So, always get what makes the best sense for your business. You'll always hear me say that. The 12% does work on the Caesar as well. Yep, all vinyls. Correct. Through tomorrow night. So the rest of the night tonight, all day tomorrow, and it'll expire tomorrow night. You got it. All right, TikTok, you guys are freaking awesome. Appreciate you all coming by tonight. You guys have an amazing night, and I will see you guys tomorrow, I'm sure. All right, TikTok, I'm out. Later. YouTube, you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. I will see you guys real soon as well. Coupon code right above me right there and the TRW release 65 coupon code. Both of them will be active until midnight tomorrow. All right, crew, have an amazing night. We'll see you guys soon. Later.